know I am. I know I am. <clears throat> but what, but why is OBS now is doing OBS weird now doing weird thing? I hope that I was I hope fixing that this. I was fixing this. I've been busy with this I've been busy with this the last couple of days and that I never was knew doing this. this. It was doing this. Um so um, I hope you so guys can I still see me. Guys can right still good. see me right good. So let's see who's in so, chat. Let's you see who's in chat. Uh, you do, yo, 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 Dukus. Yo, Dukus. Uh, Orange is here. Uh, Orange is here. Uh, yeah, Kutza uh, yeah, is here. Kutza MLB is here. Moscow's MLB here. Moscow's here. Ultra Chupa, aka Uga is here. Uga is here. How are y'all doing today, mate? How are y'all doing today, mate? To everyone who isn't here. To everyone who isn't here. Also, also, at least to everyone who's not in chat, but is not in chat, but is watching. Yes, today. Yes, today. A big day. It's a big day. Today I finally got I to the point where, where I can actually get the level, get the level 31. I've done everything I've done every that I need to do. That I need to do. And and uh, the sound echoes. Uh, the sound echoes. My apologies. My apologies. Let me see if Let I can see that. if I can fix that. But just for some but reason, I'm hearing reason, my own I'm voice as well. But I was hoping well, you guys was hoping you guys weren't. Uh, uh, advanced settings, advanced not settings. monitoring, blows. I hope this is gone for you now. Is it gone for you guys now? Because I think it's gone for me. So I can put my own headphones back on. So let me know. Let me know if it's better now. My apologies. <laughs> I was setting up a new OBS profile. Okay, nice now. Okay, yes, great, great, good to know. I, I set up a, a new OBS profile for the um, for the new things that I have on st on stream. Um, yes, the the new overlays, uh, the new starting stream, um, and the new border that you guys are seeing on uh, on screen right now. Um, yeah, I was trying to do some 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 cool things uh, uh, to make uh, to make the stream look more professional. Um, because yeah, um, uh, we're now the third month into streaming, and uh, with all these viewers, we have to look professional. Um, so, Bad King's here, Birdman's here, Sam Tarnier is here, Denston's here. Hi, Denston. I didn't ignore you this time. Um, how are you guys all doing? Um, yeah, my apologies for the sound echoing. Uh, I hope uh, I see it's fixed now. So. Um, yeah, let's let's see what we can do because today, as I said, um, it's a big day because today I can go to level thirty-one. Because, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's a that's that's a very 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 exciting time. It's costing me thirty million to do the flagship. I have a hundred and ten. So let's see how far we can go uh, because I haven't upgraded my fifth ship yet. So let's see how far we can take this. So yeah, um, as we said, it's the title of the stream. So let's start. Let's get right into it because I want to know how strong I am getting. Before we're doing that, we're at 36 and a half million power. And my fleet is currently at, let's see how the overview is, 20.3 million power. That's before level 31. So let's go and see how far we can take this if we go to 31. There it goes. Amazing. 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 I, I love it. I love it. I love the fact that we that I finally got to that point. Quick second. Yes. So extra ship. Four chip. And now we have access to a fifth. Let me look at the plus. Finally, that lock is gone. Finally, it's gone. It's been 121 days, people. I've been playing the game for 121 days. And finally, I got to the point where I can be level 31. So, let's see what we want to do with that fifth chip. Because I've been thinking I want to be trying to uh, test this a level 1 Primal Roar. That's a season 3 ship. Of course, we're not going to be keeping at that level one. But I do want to try to make this primal roar good. 
So let's see what the things are. It increases the healing effect of 7.5% and increases the attack of all allied ships by 3.7 as long as the ship is not sunk. Well, so if it sinks, it's done. Uh, increases the ship's attack by 4% and healing bonus by 6. And increases the healing bonus by 6 and decreases aggro by 12. I'm seeing a pattern here. And for every 10 seconds in battle, the ship will receive 3% less damage of all types. But also deal 5% less damage. And the effect can stack up to, 15 of the, to 5 times. So that means 15% less damage taken, but also 25% less damage done. So, that's the ship I want to be using. Let's see if we can up the upgrade that beauty. It's a very tiny ship. It's a very tiny ship. Can we see it on the map? Is it is it actually as tiny as it? I, I, I'd need to end my trade route with all these people around. You know, I'm not going to be able to see my own fifth ship. It's not there yet. Oh, I need to put in a crew. <laughs> Let's steal Cordelia for now. There it is. I have five ships now, people. How exciting is that? How exciting is that? I am very, very, very excited for this. It's really hype. At least it is for me. I don't know how you guys are feeling about it, but at least it is for me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, just a man. How are you doing, mate? Um, one question. In the flame event in season two, you can get three mini ships instead of two. Is this transferring to season three? I have no idea because I didn't have that event. I never got the event that you're referring to right now. Um, so I don't know. I have no experience on that myself. Uh, maybe try to see if you can get to the uh, to the general discord and ask that question right there. Um, but I don't think people that have the the... The thing that you're doing right now, if that uh, transfers to Season 3, I don't think those people are in Season 3 right now. Yeah, it's 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 for some some features, it's an entirely different game that your guys are playing uh, on, on, on the newer servers than, than the game we're playing, of we played uh, in, in, the, in the beginning of my server, Season 1 or 2 experience. So, let's get to setting up these ships, because... Now I'm down a, uh, a hero on my Stormbringer. So that would mean that I would have to put Ned back in. Ned already has a Tyrant's Hand on there. So that's good. And what else do we want to do? Um, we want to have a First Mate that also does a little bit of healing. Uh, and we need to unlock it to the next level to get further. So let's get this up as far as we can go how much planks do we got 1.1k that's not gonna be a problem is the money gonna be a problem i don't think so because i think it's costing around 35 million in total to upgrade to 31 there it is 31 a fifth chip to 31 let's see what's the fifth hero that i want to put on here that is Wanda, the season 3 hero, Wanda. What does Wanda do? Wanda has a, applies Panther's Guard to 5 ships in the fleet. And the ships increase their attack by 16% for the following 3 seconds. So she increases the attack of all my other ships for, the, for 3 seconds. That's good. When the ship under Wanda's command and strengthened by Panther's Guard launches a basic attack... There's a 30% probability that it will prompt two allied attacks to launch a basic attack. The effect can be triggered at most once every four seconds. So when the ship under Wanda's command, so the ship we're on right now, the Primal Roar, has Panther's Guard, so after three seconds after this, and it then does a basic attack, there's a one in three probability that two allied ships will launch an extra basic attack. It's not much, but it's an extra basic attack. And usually, my basic attack is uh, pretty good uh, if you compare it to what the hero skills are doing. Uh, that's probably mostly because my hero, uh, my heroes aren't that amazing in uh, ranks. Uh, if you would have higher rank heroes, the basic attack would do less. 
Uh, and for every 15 times of basic damage dealt by an allied ship strengthened by Panther's card, the ship under Wanda's command will restore 48 rage to at most 5 ships and will be healed once. So I think the heal is to the ship he's, uh, she's on, but the rage is to all 5 ships. HP equal to 12% of attack for one ship will be replenished and the skill can be triggered at most once every 15 seconds. Don't have it unlocked yet, but at the point that we do, that's what it does. Uh, when it gets to rank 3, I will have that unlocked as well. For every 52% drop in the total HP of the enemy fleet, Wanda will perform her next rage skill. The effect can be triggered at most once every 10 seconds. So every time that... Uh, an enemy fleet is dropping below half let's just say that um she will perform her skill again and increase the attack of all my ships by 16 percent again and when the allied ship strengthened by panther's guard launches a basic attack there's an 18 percent probability i think that's the word that we're missing uh, there's an 18 percent probability that one the ship will restore 20s rage and this effect can only be triggered most uh, two times per second. So that's that's can be quite often triggered at most two times per second. That's a lot. So that's gonna be my attempt at getting a high um, a high healing. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want to see. Do I still have? I still have the light tunnel. I want to be trying to do that on there. And then I gotten the free uh, tooth necklace on there that does another healing. So let's see what we can do. What does this do for us? A healing bonus of 84.5%. So, almost double. That's good. So, let's see what's the chat saying. Um, why are you not resetting the Providence and Black Raven ship since you got a free each week and you get everything back? You're not getting a free each week, Denston. I think that was a season transfer thing. Because I, uh, uh, I reset one ship uh, in Season 2. And I was able to reset one more ship in Season 3 for free without spending emeralds let's just say that um but after that i haven't spent uh, i haven't done any ships oh no that's that's not true because i do i did um i had another uh, sajid that i um reset and i reset my crimson sentinel as well um and at that point it's still costing 2k so it's definitely not a weekly thing. Um, so it's not a reset on Sunday. So I'll have to go look at in look into that about how often that's going to be. But I think that was a season transfer thing that you were going from season 2 to season 3 and then it reset. But I don't know. Um, I don't know what the, what the counter on that is. Um, So, uh, Washed UK is saying, how many days do you think it will take to go from ship level 12 to ship level 21? That's... Um, you should be able to get to ship level 21 if you're not spending or not spending much uh, by the end of season 1. And season 1 usually is um, about somewhere between 30 to 40 days. You know you got it three times. Okay, then... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Denston, that, but uh, then then for some reason, you got uh, you got lucky on that. Or or with the timing, I don't know. I've I've had two free ones, and I had, I've had paid for uh, with emeralds for two, not, two other resets. But um, to get back to the, to the ship level 21, uh, I think you should be able to do that in the, before the end of Season 1. So, uh, or, or around the end of Season 1. So let's say at 30 to 40 days playing play time, that should be able that should be doable. And um, yeah, that's 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 what I was. Uh, I don't know what the ship level I was when doing weird things again. 
Um, are you guys still there? Because I was dropping frames for some reason. Um, am I back now? Looks like I'm back. Yeah, looks like I'm back. I have no idea what's going wrong with the with with OBS for some reason. Um, I hope I can. I I thought with starting an entire new profile on OBS that it would fix that because we had that same issue like three or four weeks ago, but for some reason it didn't fix it. Uh, I don't know what it is. It shouldn't be my internet because that's that's a good thing. Um, but no, no, because the inter the the internet connection should be pretty good. So uh, let's see, bro, how you got how you got season three heroes. Because I'm in season three, uh, uh, any watch YouTube? Um, yeah, I am. I'm in season three. Um, I've been playing for 121 days, and uh, server 57 is in season two. If you're in a newer server, it could be that you're in season two or in your season one uh, still. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I. But that's with the amount of time that we've been playing. Um, I got to season. Uh, I got to season three already. So. Yeah, um, it's been four months. If you say 120 days, it's been four months. So yeah, um, how to get to 92 level? Uh, level is uh, my is 80, and it got max bro. Yeah, that's a season three thing. Uh, season one, the max level is 60. Season two, the max level is 80, and season three, the max level is 100. So I'm still getting to uh, 100, but every three day, every couple of days, we can go up three more levels. So this was like yesterday. Or the day before that. I think it's the day before that. That um, that we got to 92. So let's see the Grand, uh, Grand Odyssey. Uh, today port 5s will unlock. And uh, no, upgrading port 5s will unlock. Then capturing port 5s will unlock. And then we can go to 95. So that's season uh, thing. Um, oh, and the season, uh, the uh, server transfers unlock as well. At that point but that's only between us and server 50 uh, and server 60 i think so yeah that's uh, that's that's why i got to 92. uh you like the new border saying it since bob will complain if no one will say it <laughs> do you know how much effort i put in to get that border to get it actually working <laughs> it took me all day yesterday I think three or four hours to get it actually working. And it's still not working in my previews, but at least I know it's working on the stream. So, yeah. Um, let's see. You said it yesterday, Denston. You like it. Yeah, thanks, Uga. Uh, I, I really like it as well. Um, I also have a new Be Right Back screen, but you'll see that when you stick around. Um, Bob Primal Roar is a ship seems really bad addition as a fifth ship since it's not doing much for all the fleet. I think running another damage type is better. Your views. Yeah, that's that's what I'm that's what I wanna know. Um that's what I'm that's why I'm doing it, uh just a man. Um It's uh that's why I'm doing it. I, I wanna know if it's even feasible, if I can make it work. And if it's not able if I'm not able to do anything with it. Then, uh, um, yeah, that's that's. Uh, um, uh, if it doesn't work, then I'll have to reset the ship, spend another thirty million to uh, to get another ship in. And if I would do that, I would probably go for uh, to put the Crimson Sentinel back in and put Drowning on there. I hate the fact that we can't do anything with the second Stormbringer, legendary Stormbringer I have, but I still can't use. I still can't use two Stormbringers. So, yeah. Um, I was hoping that for some reason they added that in the um, in the last update. But they forgot to put it in the patch notes. But unfortunately. Or let's say. Uh, um, yeah, unfortunately that's not the case. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Primal Roar. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I hate the fact that we need to put in this as well every time. And then Wanda. So I still also need to figure out if I uh, if putting all three healing trinkets is on is on here is good or maybe increasing the attack. Uh, I don't know. Um, but 
I have been preparing a Blade of Freedom set. And this is very weird to be saying, but I've been preparing a Blade of Freedom set that has defensive stats. Because I want this ship to survive. And it doesn't have anything crit rate or crit damage doesn't do much for this ship. So I got crit resistance. And then basic attack, artillery damage, attack bonus. This is a good thing. And then crit damage. All of those don't do much for this ship. But um, I haven't gotten a better one. No, this is a critical rate. That's a new one. Let's see. I had um, somewhere I had an attack bonus one. Was that the only one? Attack bonus. Yeah, but all of those other uh, substats are the same. And I had myself an armor that also had damage reduction in there. So I'm putting that on as well. So that gives my attack to 55,000. Armor up to 31. Impact up to 29, but that doesn't really matter. And my total ship power. Do I have all spots filled now? Yeah, I filled in that slot. I filled in that slot. And I'm now, uh, I have this as well. Do we have it healed? We need to get the port first. Yeah, so that's 41 million power. We went up from 36 and a half to 41. And if we go to the all power rank i'm now 48th on the leaderboard of all six servers that's insane i'm top 50 where did we come from 36 and a half was 85th so we made a jump of 35 spots on the leaderboard that's amazing that's just insane let's see um what's the chat been saying your uh, uga is running gonna be or you, you don't have a fifth ship, right? Uh, <laughs> you, you are going to be running the primal and no one's going to stop you. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's trying to buff the three minis as opposed to a four DPS mini. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And um, since the healing of Cordelia is uh, healing the entire fleet, it doesn't matter on what ship she's on. So if I can get her to a high attack stat and then also a high heal stat, then I might be able to heal the entire fleet uh, without her uh, hurting my DPS. Because she used to be on this slot, on this uh, gunner slot. Um, I don't really, really like Ned on there, but for now he's on there. Um, uh, yeah, but he's another DPS hero, so this ship should do more damage now. Because Cordelia is, is off of it. and But Cordelia should still do a lot of healing damage. So, yeah, it's 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 weird. Um, maybe I should swap the healing trinket and the elixir around. I don't think that's going to do much. But it might do much. It, it might do something if I say I would want to replace this. Or where do I have another uh, hook? There it is, the other hook that I'm not using. That would give me 52,000 more power. 7k attack, but it drops 20% healing bonus. So I don't think that's worth it. So yeah, let's let's put the... Healing Trinket back on for now. Swap it around. It's costing me 50,000 power, but I don't care. So let's see how strong I am right now. Are there any ships that are in the route, are in this straight route, that are not from my server? I know they usually are, because... We have an, a pretty good uh, trade route. And a lot of other people are trying to fix about that. Let's get to Ausweg Los. Let's see if we can defeat him now. Because he's been, he has been chasing me earlier. And now let's see if we can figure out if we can actually beat him now. It's 
looking like we're doing more damage than we're receiving. How much is my heal? My Cordelia's heal? Let's see. You can't really see in the ship animation. It's too crowded. 115,000? I was seeing 115,000 heal from my Cordelia. That's also what she was doing um, on the Stormbringer. Uh oh, minis are going down. Minis are going down. It, it, it isn't really a very sustainable thing. Not against Outweglos. Not against Outweglos. Let's see. Um, how did it go? How did the build go? Gotten 57,000 of these. Uh, the trophies. Um, yeah, it's 3 million. But all of the damage ships are gone. Yeah. Let's see. Stats. Um, it did 5 million heal in total. One that didn't heal. No, because the, their skill to heal is like rank 3 or rank 4, right? So one that didn't do any healing. Would a different hero on that help? Yeah, let's see. Um, what was my biggest damage dealer? Yeah, that was, uh, of course, that was Tanaka. Because of his trinket. Um, and I think he does more damage now because of his trinket. Because there's an extra hero right here. So this is just an amazing amount. A little bit too strong, but he has quite good heroes. He has a decent setup, I'd say. Yeah, at least it's a decent setup. Might even be called good. Someone attacked me. Probably by accident. Oh no, that was uh, during my lunch break earlier today. He was attacking a fellow gangmate, so... Well, is that already? Oh, that's a that's a downside of a fifth ship. The amount of sailors on your total fleet is the same, so that means that you now have less to replace with. Uh oh, oh, and the replenishment? Did don't you start? You you don't start with an extra. You're actually starting with all of them down? Uh-oh. That means that I'm already down. That I'm already down on sailors. Uh-oh. That's not a good thing. I was hoping to do some more testing today, but already down on sailors. Why is this? Has this always been like that? Has this always been like that? That as soon as you get an extra ship that the replenishment is gone? Because I never I never noticed when I got the, the 22 for the fourth. But dang it. Maybe I'll have to um do some extra things on there. Yeah, as you can see, we got a very expensive item right here in this port, and we also have a very expensive item in there in that port. That's why this trade route is so good. Um, that's because of the Grand Line. Um, we've been getting items from these islands. This is a Season 3 thing. Uh, we've been getting items from uh, from these bigger islands. And that makes the, our trade route that we have right there just an amazing trade route. Um, let's see. Um, what's What are people saying? What am I missing? Um... In what server are you on? Server 57. Thanks, uh, um, uh, Uga, for responding to him. <laughs> I wasn't that fast. My apologies. Are you guys still there? I have no idea why OBS is doing this, but at least 
at least at least i think we're back so um i won the level 31 now one second gotta buy some packs uh you're at 33 and a half right now a fresh off a 28 uh, uh ship level congratulations on ship 28 uh so bob theoretically speaking if i bought stardust gravel gold eagle shield i think i prefer the eagle shield over the rudder in the fact that this is aggro is constant it's always there and for the aggro of this it's higher yes it's higher but um it's uh it's not there the entire time it can be doing it, it's doing it every 10 seconds and then for three seconds so 70 percent of the time it's not there so yeah that's what i'm saying he only does that when when um when that skill triggers and i don't really like i want my flagship to get attacked more because my flagship always survives always survives now yeah well maybe maybe now with the primal roar there uh it would survive longer but my flagship always somehow always survives so yeah that's that's not the that's yeah that's that's just difficult um what did i miss uh is it possible to transfer my id to server 57 if you are on the same season as we are yes but since you were surprised about me being at 92 you're not on the same season as we are so no you could still start a new character but you can't change uh you can't transfer to a server that's a lot older or a lot newer than you are than you currently are you can start over on a new server but i wouldn't recommend doing that while we're in season three because the gap that you're having in, in compared to the rest is just going to be massive uh, a lot of people I, I know a couple people that started in season two or at the end of season one they've caught up ugas is one of the persons that has caught up a lot uh, uh, after starting a little later um but yeah he he's doing amazing but uh, if you're starting now uh, unless you're buying a lot of a uh, lot of packs you're not going to be catching up so i wouldn't recommend doing that um it is possible for everyone in uh on these servers that we're currently playing at 55 56 58 59 and 60 those are able to transfer to us this one will be transferring could transfer to us in like three days i think it is and these ones are at the end of the season season three they were would be able to transfer to us if we would want them to or if they would want to uh, transfer to us i'm not going to be doing that because yeah i'm not going to be transferring to any other season i am buying the um the thing um where is it the market yeah that's what i was looking for I am buying these coin these these tokens but just to see if I'm how long this is going to take. I wrote so down somewhere the first time that I bought these and I'm still I I always have spare uh gang seals in this case. Yeah, let's let's buy some of these as well. I always have spare gang seals. So it doesn't make sense to just pile up those so I wanted to test how long will it take for me as a free to play because I'm not buying these tokens how long would a free to play have to grind to to get these these tokens and am I outscoring in power the amount of tokens that you can get so yeah that's that's what I'm doing so no it's not possible to transfer to season to season to server 57 if you're not on there uh He's actually winning. Yes, he he actually won. Um, see, I'm on the mine split up the healers and putting them on all on the uh, and putting them all uh, detrimental. That's why I'm running Barnacle, Bo uh, Boa, and Wanda. And what if you try Django with that sub ship? That's not a bad thing because Wanda isn't really amazing right now. <laughs> Django isn't really amazing right now. That's I I do have to say that. Um, if I were to have them at the same level, the, the the strength and the constitution would be equal. I think. Um, it would mean more rage rest restoration. Um, the ship under the hero's command. 
<laughs> I was scared that there was an, another OBS me, uh, uh, message that, that it dropped out. But unfortunately, or, or fortunately, it wasn't. Um, and when Django launches another basic attack, there's a 30% pro probability that the one allied ship will gain 20 rage. And the effect can be triggered at most once every five seconds. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Wanda is definitely, definitely, definitely better at some point. Maybe not on rank two, but yeah, that's that's just me. Uh, let's see. I got myself this gang's record mission. That's a good thing because the pirates is hero training. So let's see if we can get some heroes. Uh, we also might try to get some conscious. Uh, nope. Uh, so the only strength again because I've been trying to do that. And let's see if we can get this. Nope. Unlucky. That would mean that my gang's racket is done. Always try to complete your gang's racket as soon as possible, people. Always try to do that. Uh, do I want to be doing this? No, I think I'll be refreshing that. We got some rewards. Yes, we got some rewards. Nice. Um, Call of the Wild. Are we at the end yet? No. Flagship, yes, flagship upgrade. And we're at 50. Nice. That's another 10 conscious. That's good. I'm already at the end. So everything that we're doing now is going to be just extra bonus uh, soul stones. The books are gone. As you guys see, the books are gone. They're now just they're now stones. So um Bro, is it possible to burn? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm uh, any any watch YouTube. I'm a little bit behind on chat. I, that usually happens. Uh, can we see the boda boa artifacts? I don't think there are artifacts specifically for boa. You're saying boa? I don't have boa, but there are no trinkets specific to boa. They're not. Though they're not there. There's no boa trinket. So, um, yeah, sorry. Um, die putting up fights in zone two. Ooh, so we got fights. Who's that? No. Orange, you should have an orange ship on the map. So we can always find you. So we can always help you trying to uh, sink other ships. Because for some reason, every, whenever I'm looking and whenever I can find you, you're sinking other ships. Is there a way where I can locate you? If I go through here, have you talked in this chat recently? Yes, you have. I can see your location. There you are. Where are you going? You want help, Orange? I don't have a fifth chip, or I don't have a full sailor setup on my fifth chip, but I can help. Um, uh, about to enter season three in a few weeks. Anything I should do in advance? No. Um, there's not. It's not like in from season one to season two that I would scream, "Go save up conscious!" Because the trinkets are insane. Um, there's nothing like that in season three. That I say that you now have to already prepare for to actually do. There is a good feature. It's Grand Line. But there's nothing you can do in advance for, for that. So. Uh, still no. Okay, let's see. Can we get this trinket? This trinket is for Oni. And the trinket gives critical rate of 18%. And if the wielder has the uh, first mate tag, and if there is any wounded ship in the target fleet, wounded is when the target fleet is at half its health. It increases the attack of the ship by 14% and cutthroat damage by another 14%. So this is an insanely good trinket in my opinion. So I really want that. So I'm going to be pulling 
once because I don't want the extra pity points. So let's see if we can get there. Um, uh, <laughs> um, like from uh, Big UK. Hi, Big UK. Uh, good to see you, mate. Good to see you. How are you doing? For some reason, I do have a sore throat today. So uh, if I do another 20 how are you doings, um, uh, my voice might start cracking. <laughs> um, hi, Bob. Can you show uh, Season 3 Guild Reputation Rewards for Warship Rank? Yes, I can. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. I, I really want to get this trinket. And I'm hoping I can get lucky before this. Before another, th I need to spend another thirteen. Let's let's get. Am I going to be getting that on on the actual pity points? Yeah, probably. Let's do all ten. And then you see, I'm getting it at ninety one. You know, <laughs> no, it's actually the last one. It actually is the last one. Well, at least we got it. At least we got it. That means we got a new trinket. And that also means that now I want to be trying to get another Oni. And I think I want to be spending all of my conches on there. So let's see if we can get lucky on these or if we have to get to the pity points as well. Well, two purples isn't bad, but... Let's see. Two purples again. Again, not bad, but I want that legendary. Come on. Come on. Uh, three purples. Even better. But still not what we want. Come on. Give me some luck. Give me some luck. That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna... It's not happening. 34 pity points on Oni. Well, maybe next week. But at least we got his trinket. Let's see what heroes did we get. Oh, Net. Uh, that's a good thing. I just put ba him back on. So another 20,000. Uh, 20 strength means another 20,000. Yeah, sure. Upgrade her as well. That's another uh, 8,000 on fake uh, power. And more of this another 8000 more fake power meaning power that i'm not actually using on my ship but is accumulated in this top left corner um yes the season 3 warship rewards for the guild we've got the sunrise trade company the grassland trading company we got the monsoon merchant company and as we write i do like the sunrise one uh, okay i'll i'll call them sunrise but this one's dumbo and this one is or, or Tweety, or uh, the the uh, the Mocking Jay. It's gonna be the Mocking. <laughs> I, I like the Mocking Jay. I was I almost forgot my own names. Um, if you can get to Reverence, you're getting uh, attack bonus, uh, HP bonus, and critical rate. Or those are uh, friendly. And then to Reverence, you're getting a seven percent, a seven percent, and a three percent on the critical rate. And then when you get to the actual warship status for all of these three, these three are the same. It's the Lux Guild chest. It's all, it's all the same, so it doesn't matter which one you do first. And the chest you receive after the relationship with the guild is reached. Warship, a proof of the guild's noble regard for ye. It contains ship design chest, select one. So I think you can select either a Stormbringer, a Warhammer, or a, a Sajid. Um, 20 ship ham uh, uh, shipwrecks hammers, and three more conches, a him conches, and three echo conches. So this season is really into building ships. Uh, there's a lot of uh, items that you can get extra. Uh, there goes OBS again. Is it coming back? I think it's coming back. I I don't know what this is. What was OBS is doing? I, I will have to start fixing this for next stream. Yeah, this one. Uh, first takeover rewards. It's a chest, and then you can 
select what blueprints you want. So you can there's there are multiple multiple of these. So there you can um, you can get more uh, blueprints. So if you haven't if you have been unlucky in season one and weren't able to do any of these, uh, uh, if you d didn't get a legendary uh, ship uh, like this, uh, there's another one. I think in the first week I was able to do like seven builds of a Sajid. And no, I didn't get a, uh, a legendary one. And that's not a bad thing because I got very lucky on last season. Where is the other one? No, it's not there. But I got very lucky on last season. So I'm not going to complain about me not getting a legendary Sajid. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the rewards for the season 3 warship. Uh, Monkey King says thanks. Um, uh, no problem, Monkey King. I was I was trying to look back at chat what your question actually was. Um the 79 uh, legend nice um my server on season 2 you are very lucky you got on season 3. It's not a question of luck uh, any watch. Um it's just how long you've been playing. Um when you're when you're playing long enough we we have the we had the entire season 2. We were on season 2 with Denston who is in chat right now. Um we are in season 2 with Denston again. But I haven't seen him this time. I've been missing Denston. I've been missing his love hearts that he has on his uh, Valentine's Day skin ship. He usually, when we're streaming, he usually uh, uh, sails beside me with the love heart. So, yeah, I've been missing that, Denston. <laughs> yeah, it's fixed. Um, yeah, good. It's good. Uh, for some reason, I just don't know why OBS is doing... Um, Bob, don't leave us like that. I don't want to leave you guys like that, but for some reason, OBS just starts dropping for some reason. So um, I have no idea what that is doing, why it's doing it, but um, yeah, my apologies. I, I, can't, I can't really fix that right now during the stream. I'm hoping I can fix that or, or it fixes itself for next stream, um, but I don't know. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Um... So yeah, let's see. Um, is there anything else we want to be doing? Um, yeah, I want to be testing how strong this ship is, but that's very hard to do if you don't have any sailors on there, if you not have a full sailor setup on there. So I was hoping that this, I was able to do this uh, and I was start able to start testing it immediately. But for some reason, it's just, it's just not possible. Uh, it's not for some reason, it's for the, re the specific reason that um, we know it's that my uh, sailors still need to replenish. Can we just go into port? I have 5k emeralds. I want to be doing it right now. Oh, um, I just, I want, I want to be doing my testing. Uh, Let's buy a couple extra. Max it out. Replenish them. And then set sail. Because this is just insane that you're Oh, there we go. It it does increase the uh, it, it does increase for the fifth chip. That's good to know. That's good to know. Because it was looking like 9k and I had 9k before, so at least that's fixing it. So yeah, um, Let's see, can we can we actually start testing some things? Um, how is it going? Uh, what's the difference between me now hitting uh, 68 on the freighters? So we can look at the reports. Am I taking any damage now with, with all of this healing that it might be doing right now? Can we actually see the healing numbers? 115,000. I think that's more than we had before. So let's see. Um, I did lose 26 sailors. Um, I, had, I healed 640,000 during the battle. Let's see what we did before yesterday. I hope these are, I think these are, these were solos. We healed more, but it's probably because my the battle took longer because we're now we're losing forty three 
This one I lost 30. It's just weird to see. I'm, ha I'm putting a healing ship on there and the healing is less. But that could also just be the fact that it triggered one less time because I, I killed them for er earlier. It's just such an insane... It's such weird that you just can't see everything on here. Um, so the new one, what did it do? What did it do? It did 600,000. Wow, the Lulu didn't do much. That really didn't do much. Okay. I was hoping this would do more. But probably because she heals the ship she's on and one other ship. And she just, when she triggered, she just didn't have any sailors to heal. Because maybe they trigger at the same time. Would good, it would be great if we could somehow offset them. That one would trigger after 5 seconds and the other would trigger after 10 seconds. And then 5 seconds later and then 5 seconds later. But I think they trigger about at the same time. So that's just not fun. Okay. That still doesn't give me an answer if it's actually good. Um, Bates and Pod need a team name. <laughs> yeah, just like the, 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 the murdering hobo team name that you got, uh, Uga and Orange. <laughs> um, show the trophies for all server. Yes, I know you're on there, Orange. I know you're on there. Weekly, you're at the top. Daily, you're at the top. And general, you're in fourth. You're at 104 million trophies. Insane, mate. Insane. I just got 22. Which already, which I think is already a lot because I've been battling. Um, I was like at 18 million last week, last stream, I think. So yeah, I think I think 22 is already a lot because four million. I did that uh, on one day on Saturday. Let's upgrade all of these. Get to that extra. Because I want that extra. I need that extra. That No, that's starting tomorrow. We have something. No, refresh those blue ones. Don't ever do these blue ones, guys. Whenever you... I know most of you who are in the chat will probably know that. But don't ever do these blue missions like, like this one. Captain Clink is doing. And... Briss is doing Silver 77, Yaros, Anubis. You guys are just uh, Carnelius. You guys are just wasting, wasting attempts and keeping the line because it, and if you want to do those blue ones, good, fine, do them. I, I don't care that you're not going to be scoring really high in this event. I don't, I, I want you to score high, but if you choose not to do it, okay, but at least complete it. Immediately. Um, uh, Blood Krieger DP says, Our season 2 ends in two and a half days. Can't wait for season 3 to start. The wait between seasons is way too long. Yes. Um, is your season in two and a half days? That's Sunday evening as well. Uh, yeah, that's the same. For, that was the same for us. For us, it also ended. Um, um, is it... A blood Krieger. Is there is there a banner on the top of your screen that it's actually closing? Lorenzo, hi. How are you doing, mate? And the same to Radostin Idiolov. How are you doing? You salty dogs. <laughs> um yeah, Blood Krieger, is there a banner on your screen that actually says it's closing in two and a half days? Because if that's the case, ours ended on Sunday as well. And on the Tuesday, the blaze, uh, the Trailblazer events uh, started, which means that we would, uh, we had the crossover event at that point. At that point, so yeah, um, yeah. Let's see if we what what damage we can do. There's a lot of people here. No, that was just a glitch. Okay, no, not a lot of people here. 
let's see who's there maki teleport let's see what this ship can do in pvp i know i'm i i just i should be able to to get 30 ones now but i want to see if this still if this idea still works i would have probably have been able to to take him down uh, uh before i upgraded but i want to see if this actually is doing something for us now hardly taking damage it's a 20 now we're taking damage what 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 does what what triggers that point that for some reason at at some point we just start losing damage all of a sudden what triggers that no idea if only we had more information and if this isn't working i will have to start using the the season one blazing drowning damage ship let's get rid of these items so i can at least pick up the loot i'm getting i also heard that if you pick up loot if you pick up loot and you sell is that things that he got from this port i hope not because that would mean low selling price no it isn't so 385 it's one of it's what it's costing to sell per item and when we go to the black market there's no black market here dang it where's the black market there's no black market anywhere here at least there's one Okay, we can test we can test it at that point. But well, but let this let's see. Uh at least get this level 30 as well. Ooh, another 31. We can attack him. Ah, too late. But if he's on auto trade, he'll probably get back to us again. Pretty soon. Um Yes, the Borealis Sea closes in two days and twelve hours. Yeah. That's so the actual season two, season two is closing. Make sure you get all your incidents, all your treasures, all your everything that you can do on that map because that will map will be closing. You will not have access to that map anymore for the rest of the time you're playing. So make sure you pick up everything that you can do on that map. Uh, all good. First day in season two. Hyped for all the new things. I got bones a couple of days ago. And crafted my first Warhammer. Skills are not bad either. Uh, how about you instead? Everything good? Yeah, I am. I'm good. Uh, I have a little bit of a sore throat today. For some reason, I woke up with that. But well, um, I don't. I don't want to be sick for 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 like the like the fourth time in this winter since since 2024. So um, yeah, I just refuse to believe that I'm going to be getting sick. Um, <laughs> let's get to that port right now um and then i will try to see if we can i can show you the uh what i was trying to show um yeah so yeah we're doing good well at the start of the stream we went to level 31 and uh that means that i now have my fifth ship i now have five ships uh also means that i will have to start uh reconfiguring everything that i have on the other ships maybe if i want to uh do that um now i'm testing to see if a full healing ship would work it isn't really convincing me right now at this point but maybe in the future i don't know i'm hoping i'm hoping because otherwise um i just wasted a lot of gold for uh for for upgrading the primal roar and if i want to reset it it's going to cost me 2k emeralds um if they're re if i'm not getting a free one so yeah uh yeah i'm very good i'm very good Thank you for asking. Uh, Old Spiced Rum. Hi, Bob. Congrats on 31. Honey and lemon needed, sir. Yeah, honey and lemon needed. Probably, yes. And talking about gone, there goes OBS again. Yeah, sorry, Denston. Uh, I hope this... Uh, I think we're back. I have no idea why this is doing it. Yeah, I'm back. Thanks. Um... I have no idea why it's doing this. It's it's just 
it's just awful. Um, we had this like three or four weeks ago as well, and I I I just can't find what it's what's the problem. Um, maybe it's because this PC I'm using is has a wireless internet connection, but I've never had any problems with internet. So, um, put on your new trinket. You're right, Star. Uh, how? Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, how are you doing, mate? Um, put on the new trinket. Swap. It's costing me 175,000 power, but that means that we can we can of course do all of these blue ones and maybe this one disassemble because i want to have that uh, i want to have the levels on here so let's get 10 levels at this this does help this 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 does help for the update it's, uh, when they updated this Fifty. I like round numbers. Let's go fifty. Um, it did give me a little more power, but what I wanted to say was, um, selling this item right here, me it, it will give me four hundred and twenty nine gold per item. But selling it at a black market gives me more. This is something that I learned this week. This needs to be in a hidden videos, uh, a hidden features video part two, because. I have no idea why I never knew this. It probably would have said something uh, in game at any point. But if you're selling cargo from that you looted, so that has the 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 skull on there, you get more if you sell it at the black market than if you do that. Yes, Calic was right about the plundered items. Yes, he really was. It really is. I I, I did it earlier this week and was like. My, just mind blown, you know? Uh, does anyone know how many ships I can craft for the whole season 2? Just by buying blueprints from Rogue Shop. Is it doable to get 10 for the guaranteed legendary as a free to play? I don't think it's probably... It's, it's, it, I don't think you'll be able to get um, 10 in. If you're focusing on 1, you might. But... I switched between Stormbringer and Warhammer. Um, the entire season itself is like six, six, six weeks, maybe six, maybe seven weeks. So that's just from the Rogue Store itself. Then you're also getting uh, blueprints from the season two equivalent of this. Um, there's also blueprints in this. Yes, I know there's also uh, more blueprints in the in the paid version. But there should be blueprints in here. Uh, hammer, hammer. Oh no, the blueprints were on uh, were on uh, only in the pay part. No, right? Were they only in the paid part? Kidding me? Well, yeah, there's another pen. So, yeah, okay. So, no, that's not going to be. But, um, yeah, 6 to 7 should be doable. I don't think 10 should be do is, is doable uh, for free to play. But, uh, as soon as Season 2 starts, you can still build... Um, you can still build the other two ships. These ships aren't going away. These ships aren't on a timer. These ships are not going anywhere. So yeah, that's that's just um, that's that that thing. And uh, with the grand line, if you have a lot of free-to-play players on your server, and a lot of them don't have the um, thing unlocked, also you can get to the cartographer's corner. You can get an extra one right here. I almost forgot about that one. Um, so yeah, six, seven should, maybe eight should be doable. Um, but if you guys don't have the uh, if you guys have people that still don't still need more legendary chests, you can get these items. This is a grand line. There will be a video coming in in the future about explaining this, but um, we're still trying to figure out how reserving a next thing is is working because for some reason the auto reserve still messes up a lot of things. 
So, yeah, uh, where did we go? Yeah, here. You can get an extra ship choice, uh, an extra chest, where you can uh, choose another ship. Um, so, yeah, that's, this is, this, you're, can, you're able to, 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 to get to the tent, maybe at the start of Season 3. Uh, even if you're free to play, then you'll be able to get to the tent one. Uh, Lorenzo says you didn't check that. Yeah, but <laughs> that event, I thought it was uh, on the on the on the top row, but apparently it's on the bottom row. So, yeah, sorry, uh, sorry for getting your hopes up. The wills on my season two killed all the fun. Then you should start teaming up and killing them, because it's a hundred percent possible to kill whales. You just need a lot of people to do it. You just need more people to do it. Because we've been doing that all season. Ask 55V. We've been doing that on stream. Uh, I don't know how many... What stream it was. But um, we, we did that on stream. We had uh, two 35s and a 32 uh, on stream joining us... Uh, Trying to to, to to sync us while we were while we were live streaming, and uh, a lot of people from my gang showed up, and uh, in in the end we did sync them all. So it did cost a little effort, but we did sync them all. And it's even more fun if you're a free to play or a low spending players that they have to pull out their wallet to start uh, replenishing their sailors because you as a free to play player or or changing. Or, or, or a gang that's uh, that's not spending that much uh, can sink them. It's not this game isn't one with power. This game is one with activity on your members and with uh, towers. It's yes, you can get one v one. You can become very very strong if you spend a lot of money. But it's not it's not required to to to, to win. It's not required. Of course, it's 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 a good thing if you have a couple of good ones. So, uh, they changed server to form a mega gang. Any of my gang was their feed. Lol. Uh, even thought, even though we are top three on power, we can't stand, and other gangs are scared to do anything as well. Yeah, that's that's mostly the problem. They're scared to do anything. What's the worst that can happen? You're losing sailors. That's the worst thing that can happen. What? What's? What's? What, what are you scared about? You're gonna lose sailors. It's not like they can actually take away your hero ranks, hero levels, or that you can permanently damage your ships. Why is everyone scared? Just put up the best fight that you can, and yeah, it's uh, uh put up the best fight if you can. And if your heroes are gone, or if your sailors are gone, your sailors are gone. Yeah, well, they will be back in like four, 24 to 36 hours. Then you can fight again. Just try to team up, make a plan, make a time that you all are going to be showing up and trying to sink them, and then try to put it put up a good fight. All of those wheels can't be online 24/7, and I know that server transfer will help will help that. You never had since full sailor since three, season two started. I farmed 30 million and I'm only ship level 25. Yeah, um, in this case I would say join Orange, <laughs> who is also in chat. There he is. He's already reacting, even before I said his name. Um, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's also joined. He's also doing a lot. Let's see uh, where was he. He's a general on our server. A hundred million trophies, and if we combine all six servers, these are six servers combined. Season two is. Uh, uh, it's three servers, but now it's six servers. And Denston, who's also here in the chat, uh, join him as well. I almost forgot you, Denston. It, it's uh, it isn't on purpose. I I actually say it's not on purpose that I'm forgetting you. But Denston and Orange, those guys are also insane. Um... <laughs> Denston is sad again. <laughs> Sorry, Denston. Sorry. I just first about trophies. I just first thought about. Uh, orange, okay? <laughs> the first person who comes to mind when it comes to trophies is Orange. Because he spams me on Discord with all of the trophies that he's got. So, yeah. 
<laughs> and no, that's not an invitation to start spamming me, Denston. It's not an invitation. <laughs> yeah, but um, you had a 30 million opponent in our season one, managed to take everything in the center and they gave up and joined us. Yeah, that's exactly what happens to us as well. Um, Arkwolf, who's now 64 million power. It's insane. Arkwolf wasn't in our gang. Um, Vaughn, that, that's what we he has said that we had could, could, could call him. 53 million power. He wasn't in our gang at the start. Um, we started in a different uh, per, uh, uh, zone and we uh, fought him and his entire gang in the second zone of season one. In the end, they lost. He joined. Same thing happened. In the end, Arkwolf came. We, we, we clashed in the middle with him. And then for some reason he was like, you guys are insane. You guys are just way too active. I don't have the time to deal with, to deal with this. Um, let me just join you guys. Let's see if we can take on this 31. I still have a lot of ship builds that I need to do. Or So it's... it's I'm not an, an actual very strong 31. I know that. Because I don't have... Uh, the drill hall upgraded. I don't have a captain's quarter upgraded. I think my captain's quarter is even 28. So I still need to do a lot of that. But let's see how far we can take this. Again, it's just not working. The ships are going down. Is it just the one mini? Can we actually eventually take them on? We're still in front. If the other two minis died, it's done. It's done. Can we heal back up? Did we kill all his minis? Can we now heal back up? Can the health go up? Can we out heal his damage? Yeah, I think we are out healing him now. <laughs> we're doing more, we're healing more than he's doing damage now. But I'm not doing enough damage. Because one of the ships is down. And that's usually a very high deal. Damage dealing ship. Dang it! What's the report saying? Why do I have... Did it... Did I beat him? You defeated. Oh, I, I actually beat. No, I didn't. Huh? What? His flagship was still alive. I def I defeated him. It says I defeated him. But it just doesn't show. That's weird. 90,000 trophies. That's that's a big number. It's costing me a lot of sailors in this case. I lost 1300 sailors in total. This one means actually killed. I think the gray one is uh, damaged, and the heal can only do can only heal the damaged ones. He can a heal can't get this point of the health bar back. You can only get this point. Where OBS goes. There goes OBS again. Sink Madeline. No, no, I'm not even trying. I'm not even gonna try. I beat Madeline in um uh whatever it is, uh the the, the Rogue's Rumble. I beat Madeline here. And that's already I th I thought this was already impre No, I, I also lost apparently, but uh where is it? Where is it? 
Just like I beat you, Danston, I beat Joker and I beat Madeline. And yes, Madeline is uh, 1.89 compared to 1.6. So she should have always beat me. But in this case, I won. So yeah, that's a good thing. That's 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 a win in my book. But I can't beat her on ship level. I'm not gonna be even be trying it. Uh, maybe it's a visual. Yeah, it's it might be a visual glitch. Uh, sorry, you're preparing Illuminati Matrix. Hi, mate. How are you doing? Um, yeah, Illuminati Matrix. Uh, if you're saying hello, that's because of the stream that might be uh, glitching out. Um, for some reason, once every ten to fifteen minutes, it just it's just ghost but uh, apparently i'm back i pulled up my own stream on my phone to start seeing if i'm back myself because i don't want to be asking you all guys all the time so at least it, it looks like i'm back so yeah um let's see change out the blue ones don't ever take the blue ones i know i'm repeating myself like most of the time but in this case even more I don't know if this actually is a good setup with this. I don't think it's actually a good setup. I'm, I really am reconsidering putting on, changing this one out for like a Crimson Sentinel and then put on uh, placing heroes I don't have them upgraded a lot so this is gonna cost me a lot to actually upgrade to actually make them good as well I also didn't do Wanda the entire way there was an event where you can get some uh, conscious for, for upgrading it to, to 5 or 6 so I did that but I wasn't going to go any further I rather want I would rather focus on Oni than I would focus on Wanda. The the damage on Oni is just insane. So yeah, um, Old Spice Rum says, "Sorry, Bob, missed the start due to work. Uh, you may have shown this. What are the guild uh, warship rewards for season three? Yeah, we have shown that before, but I can quickly show you again. Um, these are chests where you can choose a ship, get twenty hammers." three Heim Conscious and three Echo Conscious and all three are the same so it doesn't matter which one you do first as long as you get all three so I uh, hope that answers your question um is Oni better than Tanaka for damage I don't know if he's oh I had apparently I had a, a commission there um I I think he's very good. Uh, in close combat, I prefer Tanaka. Because he damages all enemies, all five. So that's why I like a Tanaka in there. Um, Oni damages a lot of people on one per Does a lot of damage on one person in ground. Um, I still need to actually get a good comparison. Because I can't compare them right now. Because... I just got the trinket for Oni. This trinket is level 80. It's five times upgraded. Uh, five times enhanced. Um, and uh, level 92. Uh, it's, uh, rank, uh, no, rank 5. That's what I want to say. He's only rank 2. Uh, I think uh, has the trinket, but the trinket is not upgraded. It's level 50, not level 80. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very hard to compare. But I do think that this... Uh, uh, increase the the attack of the ship by 14% and cutthroat damage by 14% since Bones and Luna are on this ship as well is pretty amazing I think that's a very good um, thing to have how much is my crit rate now crit rate is 71% so 71% of the time I'm going to be hitting double damage because 106%. So 70% of the time I'm doing 20 extra damage. 
But his his things are uh, rank three gives extra critical damage, which of course it's it's good. But uh, can you get if you get the it, this one is the one that is actually doing a lot. If the ship on her only must use command thing. Uh, deals cutthroat damage and is a critical hit so you want to have a lot of critical hit there uh, chance it will inflict brittle armor and healing debuff on the target for five seconds it's not even a short one it's for five seconds the effect can be triggered at most once every 10 seconds so the half of the time you're dealing damage to a ship uh, doing a critical hit, and then um, the, it will debuff the opponent so it will decrease the armor by 12%, which isn't as amazing as it sounds because it's decreasing the ship stat by 12%. Um, but healing debuff, uh, the ship receives 18% less healing. Um, if it has a very high healing, uh, 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 it would prevent from, from healing again. That would also help against um what's his name uh lord kojo but then again only replaces lord kojo then you would have then you should put lord kojo on another ship maybe put lord kojo instead of cursed ed that could be a thing get rid of cursed ed put kojo in there then and then when uh, Oni Musha is uh, um, uh, is 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 uh, is is the rank four. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if that would actually work because my crit rate on the on the flagship is not going to be great. Crit rate thirty six percent, so still one in three chance to do it. No, because it's not... Yeah, it's, it is. No, it's under the ship's command. So he wouldn't do that. But the fact, the reason why I dislike Gojo is because he also heals the opponent. And if he attacks the same opponent that has 18% less healing, at least the heal that he does is less efficient. So he would deal more damage compared to the heal that he's doing. So that would make him better. A little. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, we got a person. We got a person. He popped out. He wanted to show his face on stream. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Wrong choice. Wrong moment. <laughs> uh, Lorenzo says, Speaking of Tanaka, do you think it's better if I save my conscience to get Adeline 2 and have both of them? Or, try to, or should I try for Tanaka to get him 3 stars after I get the free one? Um, yes, get to Naka. I focus on one. I don't have I don't have Adeline myself. You can see Adeline still don't have her because I, I'm not using a drowning ship. I might start using a drowning ship if this healing doesn't work, but um, then I'll I'll see what I can do. Maybe I'll then have to go to um, to these and try to get a strategic instead of a drowning because I just don't like drowning. But, uh, yeah, that would mean uh, spending on Boa and getting lucky on, lucky on Molly. So, and that would mean I have to upgrade all of these as well. But that would be the same case uh, if I were to go uh, drowning. Because these are the three drowning. It's 50, 62, and 50 that I got. So all of those are also very low. I'm not, I don't have all the pipes. Oh, um, to the guy that was saying, uh, do, should I do something in season two to prepare for season three? Save up master pipes. That's what I'm. That's what I'm lacking right now. Save up master pipes. Don't don't just put them on heroes that you're not putting on ships. Save them. You need hundreds, hundreds. You need actual hundreds of them, and it's very hard to get them. Um, let's see. If we want to upgrade this from eight. To nine i need 70 that means before i was using four ships with three heroes that means 12 so if i want to upgrade all of them i need 900 and then probably at level 100 i need 80 
that means I need another 900. Or 960. And the other one's like 8. 840 something. So you need 1800 to upgrade all of your heroes from 80 to 100. To 100. That's on 4 ships. Now put in a 5th ship. That's even more. So yeah. Um, it's insane. It's insane. Um, let's say uh, what's the chat saying I got Kui as a third hero on the blazing ship and it works very good she generates rage very well yes she does um, but um, season 3 adds uh, um, an artillery ship that's why I got uh, Kui, C, Kui whatever, however you pronounce it um, I have that on um on on the, on on my uh, actual artillery ship, so yeah, that's that's what I got. That uh, that's why I'm using that. Um, in season three, after how many days will we receive gang rewards? I don't actually know. Uh, after the level seven port odyssey is done, Grand League, the Grand Odyssey is done. It was a week, a week and a half, maybe two at max. So, yeah, but that doesn't mean that season, if your end of season rewards are being paid out, that doesn't mean that the season is ending. It's really weird. It says end of season rewards, but it, it doesn't actually end your season. Not until you get a banner on your screen that says the, 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 the sea is actually closing. What was it called? Borealis Sea is actually closing. That banner is going to be on your screen for like a week. Very annoying. So yeah, that's uh, uh, that's that's gonna happen. To that. Do we got any? Oh, he saw that we're looking. He saw that we're he that he saw that we were looking. He immediately left. Um. Yeah, I'm waiting for that ship in season three. I have same heroes already, but on a blue ship for now. And I think in season three I'll probably have flagship cutthroat placing and artillery. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, cutthroat, uh, cut cutthroat placing and artillery. Yeah, that's the same that I had. Uh, blazing, uh, artillery, and then cutthroat. Different order, but same thing. Um, can you show highest power level player? Yeah, sure. I'll show you Arkwolf. Arkwolf, sixty-four million power. <laughs> it's a good thing he's on our side. D Dog, Ariana, the 61, 55, 54. Then we got another one that's on our side, 53. Then we got Donkey Kong, uh, in the same as Denston, who's in chat, who was in chat earlier. Then we got Ghost, Trevor, Trevor, Trav, just rip. Um, Dream, Matt, Opa. Something I can't pronounce. Denston, there he is. Madeline. Magma Allen. Rap. P -p 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 -p. I think. Something something else I can't pronounce. Iron Knacker. Hostile Hunter. Sever. A lot of 40s. But now we also cracked the 40. We cracked 41 today. We went up like 5 million power for the fifth chip. So yeah. Dang, how is he so strong? What does his fleet look like? And what ship level? He's level 37, Carbine. Um, that's because in season 1, the max your flagship can be is level 30. In season 2, the max that your flagship is gonna, can be is level 35. And at the max of, level, uh, of season 3, is level 37. He was there on day 1. <laughs> Just for a quick... How insane it is the OBS again. Now you guys can see me win. Are we back? Yeah, I think we're back. Sorry guys. OBS is doing weird things today. At least. At least we're doing at least it's working. I don't know if it's my internet. I, I should look at the fact that maybe it's my Wi-Fi, but I don't think it is because I don't have any problem with other things. Orange is saying Arkwolf is very strong. Yeah, Arkwolf is very strong. 
Um, but um, it's not about power. This game is not all about power. It's about activity. If you have more people online, if you have more active people in your gang, um, even Arkwolf can sink. Even Arkwolf can sink. And we proved that uh, in Season 1. And maybe if Season 3 is going to start getting... Uh, uh, start getting easy or, or is it start getting boring maybe we'll do a mock battle with Arkwolf and try to see if we can still sink him with his current level would love to see if we can still do that I was able to defeat Odog before I was 31 so it shouldn't be a problem to actually beat him now that I am 31 also, this is a very weird thing to get attacked by a tower if you're attacking someone here in its range. That was too fast. And down he goes. <laughs> Other one. That's just because you were here, mate. Nothing against you, it's just because you were here. You were sailing next to me while I was already beating someone. So you shouldn't have been there. That's actually what I'm saying. You should have been you shouldn't have been there. You shouldn't have been on you should have been on your phone, noticed me attacking your fellow gangmate, and then yeah, you should have been. This that's just your problem. That's 77. Well, Let's make sure that his name is accurate. He's die. He's dead from die. So it's something that you can't just you just can't ignore. <laughs> Let's get some of the stuff. Cheese and foie gras. Looks like cheese. Doesn't look like foie gras. We'll sell it right there. So, um, he Arc Wolf has. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Um, he's a nice guy, though. Um, I don't know what he's doing. Um, but people like him uh, are playing the game, are, are paying for, for the development of the game uh, uh, for other people that are free to, free to play. So I'm glad. I'm I'm grateful that they that they uh, that they exist. Um, in this case, I'm also glad that he's on our side because it would have been a very tough fight if you were on the opposing side. Um, if we were to switch sides now, now that we have actually uh, helped him with his setup. Hey, Orange! How are you doing, mate? Also gathering trophies, I see. I'm just getting rid of some of the excess cargo that we had. There's Orange. <laughs> There's a 24 on your right side, on your behind you. <laughs> he noticed him. And now you also know how how delayed the stream is, right? <laughs> oh, he doesn't have the the tick turned on for stop, stopping your trade route if you get sunk. And he doesn't have this turned on. If you're actually in a war, if you're uh, regularly getting sunk, always put this on. If it's a peaceful server, it's a peaceful time. Someone can attack you. Just go back at it. But if if you're if you're having problems, yeah, should always stick that on. Because if we would want to, then uh, yeah, we would be able to. Uh, uh, to sink all of his gold as well, because he keeps buying new items. We take them from him. And then we sell them, and then we're taking we're taking his profits, and he's he's decreasing his money instead of increasing it. Uh, Stana, hi! Uh, just stop by to say hello and see you whale out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a whale now. I'm 41 million power, level 31. I'm not a whale in the in the amount of money I'm spending. I'm still VIP six, but it took a lot of effort. Let's just say that it took a lot of effort. Uh, I'm a mini whale. I'm a, I'm a baby whale. Like, like, maybe I'm a killer whale. 
Those are smaller, right? Than than actual whales. <laughs> and like the the orca, the the killer whale thing. Um, can you can I see how much tickets you need if you want to transfer to a server? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, season three, transfer information between one and twenty-seven million. You need twenty. 27 and 29, it's 30. 29 and 31, it's 50. 31 to 34 is 70. 34 to 42 is 100. I need to, I need to stop growing because it's going to be going to 130 soon. Uh, 42 to 45, 130, 44. So for, it's, for example, for Arc Wolf, it would cost 200 items. Uh, how much? Uh, what are they called? seafaring permits so yeah can you get bigger ones yeah you can buy bigger ones in, in one ball one remaining 99 remaining well good luck on that why would you need 99 will there actually be at some point be will, will there actually be a point where you're where, where you're gonna get where you need 2000 of those tokens to transfer and i just noticed my my voice uh crossing over it's still good if you need 100 yeah but um the uh, requirements uh went up with the season i think if you're in season two the these requirements are uh lower so you're earlier you can be on uh you, if you're past level 30 for example, if you're past 30 million, then you're already on 100. So if you come to season two, uh, season three, or uh, then in the beginning of season three, it's it's cheaper. But you can only transfer after um, uh, after this one. So in a day, one day and 11 hours, people can actually tra start transferring. So yeah. Um, before that, you can transfer. In my server, I need 100 trinkets. Now, with my power, only 26 million. Yeah. So, in the beginning of Season 3, you'll be able to get... Uh, uh, you'll be able to, to, to transfer for a lower cost. But, you will have to wait until... 17 days into Season 3. I think it's 17 days, because it's a day in 15. It's a day in 15 hours, or a day in 11 hours. So this is 14, this is 15, this is 16. Yeah, so uh, 16 days from now, maybe 17 because you have to finish this. Yeah, 17. 17 days from now, from the from the start of Season one, 3, then you can transfer to, uh, to one other server. It's not even to all of the servers. It's to one other server. It's only to 60 where we share the zone with. All of the other ones, 59, 58, 56, and 55, that's the rising black flag. And that's um, Grand Odyssey 31. That's 15 days from now. That's even that's even later. That's two weeks later. So, yeah. If you don't cross the threshold for getting more power, then it would be easier. But I'm trying to see myself getting all of these items. I am getting these items. I am buying them from the gang store. I'm not buying them for money. I'm buying them on gang store. Um... Like like here, I, I always have gang tokens left, so I'm I'm buying them from here. Um, uh, I'm trying to see if I'm outpacing power instead of the decreasing number of consumption, because this 100 will never start, will never happen during season three, maybe in season four, but then the power changes again. Uh, am I going to this one? Probably. 44 million. I'm now at 41. So I'll probably be going to that to that bracket soon. In like in like a week or two. Uh, so then I have to need 130. So when is it when will I be able as a free to play in in buying these to get there? Um and think they should allow transfers only at the end because all of the whales will jump to server. Yeah, that's most of them is the end. Only 60 is um, on day 17. All of the other ones are, are two weeks later. 
can't you just unequip your hero's carbine? No, because it is uh, item consumption will be calculated based on your all-time high power. If it's now at 41,151,000, if I were just to... Uh, unequip a ship really quick. I drop like to 37. And then if I go back to that screen, it still says 41. Because this was the max level that I had. Let's get to this one again. Where is it? There it is. This one. And then put Wanda back on. 41 million again. Wasn't it 151? What happened? What changed? Oh, me. I don't know what changed. So, um, Stana saying we're still stuck in season two. Settlement in one day. Hopefully, a very quick turnaround. What do you mean in turnaround? Do you mean the as season is ending for you quickly, and then you can uh, um, uh, start fighting again in season three, or do you mean turnaround in the fact that you're planning something? <laughs> and if you are, don't tell me because your enemies might also be watching. Um, yeah, uh, stream security. I don't know what you're trying to say. Uh, just a man. Uh, sorry, I missed their flag. Uh, pure flag, a uh, flag, pure drowning, pure blazing, cutthroat, or a flag, pure artillery, blazing, Adeline, cutthroat. I like pure blazing if you have the legendary trinket of Tanaka as well. Because the legendary trinket is inflicts a, a certain amount of damage after 15 times of doing burning damage. So if you were putting um, Adeline on here, this would not stack with Adeline. Uh, also, try to look what your skills has because my sk ship skill has, or my ship has a skill. Uh, that says increased blazing damage, but decreased drowning damage. So uh, putting Adeline on here wouldn't do much for me. Uh, this also, it's uh, when damage over time is inflicted. Uh, there's a 10% probability that the effect chip will have its impact decreased by 48% or its armor decreased by 48% in the case of taking on water. So uh, when you're doing taking on water damage drowning damage over time um then the armor will decrease and when you're doing blazing damage the impact will decrease but the effect can only be triggered once every five seconds so if adeline triggers it and then um uh, if you want adeline a drowning to trigger it um but for example lester goes first um it's it can be triggered by lester instead of adeline so if you want to decrease the armor, you shouldn't have a blazing heroes on here. So yeah, it's it's if you're uh, if you're trying to decrease the armor of the opponent, you should have all drowning heroes on a ship that has that skill. For example, in this case, I'm doing that because it's just the ultimate skill that this ship had. I it's not like I had actually had a choice. You know, it's not like I had a second one. <laughs> I did. But this one is even worse. <laughs> so I was hoping that at some point we would be able to do a two Stormbringers. Because then I would make this my drowning ship. Because it has increased drowning damage and decreased blazing damage. But since we can do two Stormbringers on one fleet. Which is insane. Because for some reason OBS again. We're back. Sounds like we're back. Sorry, guys. For some reason, OBS is really doing doing a lot of terrible things right now. OBS is censoring me. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, <laughs> I'm sharing too many secrets. Thanks, Lorenzo. Yeah, I know. I got my phone out to watch at my own stream uh, to see uh, if it's if it's back. For some reason, this just is killing me. Um, yeah. 
Uh, I am having a little bit of sore throat, so I want to uh, get myself a little drink, re uh, drink really quick. So um, you guys are going to be show. Uh, uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm show. I am going to show you guys the new Be Right Back screen. So um, yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to follow the channel. I will be back in like a minute, but I haven't done so uh, already. So please leave a like if the uh, on the on the live stream. Um, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back in like a minute. Yes, Orange, I saw you. I saw you, Orange. Don't hide in port quickly. I saw you. You just wanted to be on the stream, right? How did you guys... What do you guys think of the... Of the Be Right Back screen? Uh, fancy, real nice, pretty. Hi, chat. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I, th I thought it was pretty nice. Um... Maybe probably some of you guys have seen the new starting soon and uh, uh, screen as well. Um, also the border around the screen, of course, border around the screen. Um, yeah, I I love it. Uh, I love the the new uh, um, what are they called overlays. I love the new overlays. Uh, I I have been having a lot of trouble trying to get them to work. Uh, I don't think that's the problem with OBS I'm having today, but um, yeah, at least I know that this is. Uh, um, it, it's at least I know it's working, so I'm I'm really excited that it is working. So let's see what else did we get? What else we can we do? Um, there was a new update this week. The patch notes. The patch notes. Uh, haven't done these uh, yet. Um, major content additions. Chat rooms. We now have the ability to create chat rooms and chat systems, and with that. The entire chat window has changed. So all the personal chats are in one tab and all of the group chats are in another. And I'm already in way too many group chats. So, yeah. Um, so that's one. Friends. You can now add friends using their uh, nickname or uh, UID. Yes, but you can't add an... Uh, you can still not block an ad, block a person. So if you're having uh, to deal with someone that is uh, very negative, um, I apologize. I I want to say I apologize. I can't do anything about it, but um, it's still a bad thing that 
the, the it's you can add a friend, but you can't block anyone. Um, best SOC streamer by far. Oh, thank you, Orange. Um, the system uh, a, a, a ship part quick equip. <laughs> the system now supports the automatic selection and fitting of ship parts, uh, ship components for specific slot. Yes. There's a new button. Did you guys notice it? It's the button that you can press to make your ships less strong. Look, I press quick mount. 350,000 power. Gone. Because it just wants to put on a level 25 now. That I already said I wanted to, uh, to get rid of. So... Yeah, this isn't good. And I still am using a level 18 sail. I know. Was this the good one? Or was that the good one? I don't know anymore. Damage, crit damage, heal, HP bonus, crit damage, base impact. This might be better. 108, no. Uh, and that, oh yeah, look, look at this amazing thing that you put on here. Burning damage, cutthroat damage, artillery damage, and taking on water damage. Yes, amazing, mate, amazing. If only that was actually a good thing. That this could, this one, this is, this is a new one. This could be good. Let's see if we can enhance this one while we're here. And there it goes, artillery. Is that the only one? The damage? At least this one's good. So we go... For more attack bonus? Ooh, 137,000 more. 108 on total attack. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. But my blazing damage went down... My burning damage went down to 57. This was at 65, I think, yesterday. That can't be. But yeah, that's the that's the new button to make your ship class useful. Uh, <laughs> gang logs. A new feature in the gang system records all activity of the gang over the past week and allows for filtering by event type. Is that actually a thing that you can see? Conquests? Where's that? Where's the log of the gang? Where's the gang log? Is that here? Logbook. Yeah, you can see the logbook. You can see... You can see... Oh, wow. You're seeing people reach for certain levels in gang records. That's the most useless information ever. Every time someone reaches a new level in gang records, why would you have this on there? Look, I re reached level 32. And I saw Arkwolf in there as well. Insane. Level 69. Nice. Um, this is just the most useless information ever. Just get rid of this gang record thing in there. Then at least a new gang savviness gang chest being cultivated is a thing. Uh, island has been developed. Gang is developing the island. Your gang reaches 61 in gang's record. Maybe that's that's that might be sort of useful. Maybe I don't think so. But then all of this is just being crowded by by gang record notifications. So uh, fun plus if you're losing, if you're listening, um, get rid of that or make me or or make it able to filter that out. What can we get? 115 euros for, for 40 conscious, 40 master... Po no thanks. No thanks. Not that if it was a better pack that I would actually pay that, but I, I don't know. I have never paid any... Uh, I've never paid that much. Um, no, uh, go back to the thing. So there's a gang log. The mail system now supports categorization and summary display of gang mails. Okay. 
Um, battle report interface now allows viewing the personal information of other heroes by tapping their avatar. So clicking on their avatar, you can you can now see their profile. The max level of sea monsters and armed freighters in season one area will now be aligned with the seasonal progress of your current sea. Oh, that's a good thing because uh, when we had to go back to season one after season two ended, we had like a uh, sea monster that was, was like 10, uh, 10 levels lower than the other ones. So yeah, we, we got level, instead of level the level 21 ship parts, we now got level one uh, level 20 ship parts again. Uh, fixed an issue where the progress of the gang's record uh, task displayed as 100% when not completed. Okay, that's a, that's a thing. Um, gang tag now includes an extra note that can be reached un uh, researched in an unlimited amount of times. Each successful research will bring the, a treasure chest a reward for gang members. That's number five. That's on the Savinus tree right here. This now can be done uh, uh, unlimitedly and you can get an extra chest. And what's in that chest? A five minute speed up. Yeah, it, it's you can have a five minute speed up and it's an eight hour timer. And if maybe if everyone speeds it up, you can do it like like four times a day for like for like if you're actually lucky you can get like 20 minutes of speed ups a day it's like it's like it's like a gift from heaven <laughs> i like the fact that you can you can now keep doing something in the savage three but i dislike the the rewards it's just it's just not good enough um it's not doing anything um the chat system now supports a wider range of emoticons. Yes, it now supports having sharing more content, current location, troop configuration, and historical battle reports. That's a good thing. Um, gang rates improved. And that added two new difficulties, purgatory and beginners. I haven't seen those myself. Each week, the first completion of a gang rate by an individual gang member... Um, will add a challenge record to the gang upon accumul uh, accumulating a specific number of these rewards. This is, I think, for the season specialization tree. So, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's the thing. Um, for your season specialization tree, not mine, because mine is different. Um, Watchtower defense. So even without a defending fleet, the Watchtower will automatically attack new pl uh, enemy players who attack Alliance members. So that we, we saw that earlier when we were fighting some players. When there is a fleet stationed, if another gang's player attacks our stationed fleet, our fleet will automatically counterattack. I think that already did it. it. It already did that, right? But probably did something new now. New entry condition for raids. You cannot enter any raids if the flagship is in combat. That's a good thing because people were trying to get out of fights by going into a raid. You cannot enter any raid if non-flagship ships are separated from the flagship. I don't think this is working because I had my ships on a tower yesterday and I was able to join a gang raid. It just put them back at my flagship. Instant travel. Um, temporary unable to enter the guild raid if it's been less than five minutes since the last entry. As in, it's you won't be able to do a guild raid every five minutes. Is this is the season specialization thing again, right? Um, and then a friend for your miver to improve your gaming experience. We highly recommend downloading the latest version from the store once it's released. The update will be deployed in stages across various. Uh, sea areas the time of the update release may vary pirates who update to the new version will gradually receive update rewards and may your sales be full and your voyages be very enjoyable well i hope it is and there goes obs again yep yeah. are we going back yeah we're going back the first ship building must result in an epic ship, and the tenth attempt will must result in a legendary ship. Both guarantees will only be valid once. So, first time you build it will be an epic, tenth time you build it will be a legendary. So why is there a luck value? Well, it's for the second time you do it. You get 5% added to your luck value every time you get a, a not get a legendary one. 
So for the first time, you're guaranteed at 10 to get a legendary ship. And after that, you're guaranteed to get a legendary ship at 20. That was already the case, but I want to know, is this new? I already built five goddess Sachit. I want to know if the 10th one is, my 10th one is also going to be a guaranteed one. So, yeah. Um, AS To Kurdish says, can we see OB artifacts, please? Yes, I think you mean trinkets. Um, yes, yeah, sure, I can show you the trinket. I can read it out loud. OB. I just got OB. No, I can't see OB. OB is season four, Kurdish. Um, sorry, it's season. It changed. It used to be a season three hero. Now it's a season four hero. So I can't. I I only have Oni. Oni Musha. I don't have OB. So that's a season four thing. My apologies. I can't show you that. Um. Uh, what else? What else? What else is there? This. They also changed this. Now, upon completing this, we're not getting adventure experience anymore. I used to get adventure experience from this. I don't anymore. Why do they change this and not change the question mark that's here? How many speed ups am I getting? I have no idea. Give me information, please. I want information. Give me... Put something here instead of a question mark. Why is there a question mark? And put in your notes that you're removing adventure experience from this one. Put it in the patch notes. I know it's a negative thing. I don't like that you removed it. And but that it, it I know it's a it's a debuff from for this feature. But at least you should put it in uh you should put it in the patch notes if you're decreasing it. So please, uh fun plus. Try to put it in a patch note. If you're changing things, put it in your patch notes. Positive or negative, put them in. Please do. Uh, nope, I don't have a black market right here. And the reason I'm doing that is because its loot was gathered from other players. And selling it at a black market brings you more gold. It Bob from, uh, from that there YouTube. Hi, John. How... Uh, how are you doing um on the gang raid can't enter for five minute rules there's a bug where it will affect happens at random people who leave the raid upon full stage completion I have to test myself as this is info from gang yeah um i can test that because i think your 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 guild raid thing i only have these squad raids i only have these squad raids and also, the two new difficulties that they added, it's not in here. It's not on It's not on this one. So, apparently, that's only for your season specialization. And your my season specialization looks like this. And newer servers have a different season specialization. I can show you. No, I can't, because I still don't have a character on, on a server that uh, is in Season 2. So, I can't even show you. Um, I was trying to make new characters on different servers. No. Nope, wrong button. I was trying to make new characters on different servers to see if I can actually see other things as well. Um, but I wasn't able to do that. So yeah, that's 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 still a thing that's not, not very useful. Um, I'm wanted. Well, come and get me. Come and get me, people. I am now level 31. So come and get me. Um, gang raid, Bob, not squad raid, I think. Yeah, it's it's just weird that I hear the word raid and I think of the squad raid, but I don't, I don't have the gang raid mechanism. So when I see that in the patch notes, I, my hat goes to the squad raid, not the not not your season specialization gang raid uh, mechanic. It's just because I don't have uh, don't have that mechanic. So let's see who we can beat in straight clashes. 27 million, 27 million, 26 million. And we're now up to 25. Earlier today, this was at 20. 20 and a half? Uh, Tajirit says, congrats on reason 31. Thank you, Tajirit. How are you doing, mate? Um, thanks. Uh, yeah, we just reached them during the live stream today. I, I did the last building tomorrow. Uh, I did the last building earlier today at the beginning when i woke up this morning um because there was a, a building thing here and there was a building thing in here so it was like 
well let's just start doing them right now but um yeah let's see who we can beat i do want to have a ref a quick refresh um 21 million i'm not going to be fighting denston i'm not going to be fighting denston that's a 31 but he doesn't have all of his ship at, uh, done so let's see if this this healing ship actually does something for us let's see what we can notice in here i'm seeing a lot of damage he's very squishy he is very squishy and down he goes look at the amount of damage that my stormbringer is doing in this case that was an easy one that was an easy one. 28 million i think that's a little bit much so let's get this one i was able to it was a tough fight yesterday putting against this one it was a tough fight um uh denston bob is asking you to get him no no and there's a gate in between us he can't bully me yet he can't also show off his hearts on his uh on his uh on his skin on his from his ship but he can also not bully me yet um Vincent Goede says, uh, hi, hashtag Bob. Is, is, that a, is that an actual hashtag? <laughs> Should I start an X account with hashtag Bob? Um, uh, I was wondering if anyone else has issue with the PC's version of the game. Updater keeps crashing. If I enter before the crash, it is totally buggy. Uh, no, I am using the, the, the PC version right now. What you're seeing is the PC version. So, uh, no, I don't have any problems with it. I haven't had any problems starting it up. Um, so yeah, that's good. Um, uh, Tashirat is doing good. Thanks. How about you? I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm happy that I'm going to 31. Uh, I have a sore throat since yesterday again, but that's like the fourth time this year. So I'm just going to go ignore it and hope it goes away by itself. Um, yeah, you're close to reaching 28. A couple of days. Well, uh, congrats. That's also a very big thing. That's uh, 28 was. Uh, after level 28, then 29 and 30 wasn't that big of a step. It was quite easy for me to get to 28 and 29. Uh, no, from 28 to, to, to 29 and 30. Then 31 was a very big step again. Why is this 13 million? Let's just do these. It's 31. How does he, does he have ship parts unequipped? Oh, he probably, he probably uses the quick mount. For the ship parts <laughs> he probably uses the quick mount for the ship parts so he gets all the worst ship parts that he can um but for a fact that he's 13 million he puts up a, a pretty good fight but for some reason the score is probably bugged uh denston is bullying me uh keeps saying he's going to sink me <laughs> sorry yeah um yeah you shouldn't you shouldn't poke a bear let's just say that john you shouldn't poke a bear <laughs> let's see let's see um these are all pretty tough but pretty pretty easy fights that were if they were tough yesterday these are a lot easier now but that's that's logical for me having a fifth chip right here but i'm not really seeing a very big benefit on having a, an, an an actual um healing focused chip right now it does do more healing i have to say that it does do more healing even if the fact that um denson says fight me no but no denson i'm not going to be fighting you i'm not doing it can we beat lagier i don't want to be attempting it because well, an amount of attempts anyway, so. So let's go to Rogue Rumble. Uh, we need to refresh because 2 million, 2.4, 2.1, 2.4, 2.4. It's not happening. These we can beat. These are people we can beat. He doesn't even have bones in his setup. And there goes my voice again. You blame Mip Bates. <laughs> always blaming other people always blaming other people you, you you sent that picture of the dish 
uh, that you advised me, but um, <laughs> that's it. Didn't it didn't actually look tasty? But that's probably because you were already uh, uh, eating from it. Uh, um, I just said earlier that I can that I can't wait to sink you. <laughs> Bait said that he could sink you easy, Denston. Yeah, well, he just has a uh, a very um, in Dutch we would say big mouth, but um, he 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 talks he talks a lot of game, but uh, I don't think he'll actually have any chance. I think Denston should just send out a mini, and then uh, I think that that was won't even be a problem for him. Um, Lorenzo says, "Do you use same lineup for attacking and defending in Rogue Rumble?" Yes, because I think it's the strongest lineup that I have. Sore throat means no, how are you doing? Anyway, uh, time to uninstall the game and do a clean install. Hope it helps. Yeah, I hope it helps as well for you, uh, Vincent. Um, yeah, I am doing the how are you doing? Um, but I think at some point my voice might crack during it. <laughs> but I'm still waiting on I'm still waiting on that to happen. It hasn't happened yet. So I'm still waiting on it to happen. <laughs> oh, uh, you, John, you're talking about the dish, yeah. Well, if 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 it doesn't matter if it looks tasty or not, if it, it as long as it is tasty. So, um, um, yeah, yeah. I, this is just the strongest setup that I have. It's just it just is. But in this case, I am against the person who. This Ahab, this is Ahab go for. I didn't look. Did this Ahab go first? That that all of his heroes had a shield. That's why. I, no, I just didn't do a lot of the damage yet. Uh oh, this might be a tough fight. There it goes. At least he's down two heroes, and I'm not. And we're not going to be seeing the end of the battle. Great bug. That's something that you need to fix as well, Fun Plus. You need to fix that. Fix that game. Fix that. Because it just makes me win. And we're back at third. <laughs> I'm third in this. It looks radioactive, but it tastes good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's like a frog, right? It's it's like a frog. Bob still alive? Yes, I'm still alive. Hi, Uga. Welcome back. Um, I should bring Ahab too while attacking. I'm only using him in defensive lineup, but I usually go for five damage dealers in attack. But I guess it's not optimal. This is the best setup that I, I have. And you can see I'm third in the ranking. And I'm fighting I'm I'm in, in the ranking. I'm in between uh he's 37. I don't know what Donkey Kong is. Arkwolf is the biggest power power. Uh Vaughn's high. Uh Ariana's 36. Vaughn is 35 or 36. Ark's 37. Uh Lajeris also high. I think 33 on flagship. Uh Madeline's 34 um all of these guys are are massive spenders or at least they have way better hero setups than i have and um oh i beat the radioactive frog earlier but if we go to it yeah radioactive frog there it goes oh, yes again obs didn't want to see me uh, to, to to show me losing apparently so yeah, sorry, Denston. It's OBS again. I, I really have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Um, I don't want to quit out of OBS, uh, start over the stream, and hope it helps. It fixes itself. But, um, yeah, um, I do apologize for it. Um, Madeline, which we answered earlier, um, also has, uh, like, a rank 7 bone, rank 7 Adeline, um, an Armstrong. I don't know how strong Armstrong is. No, um... It's not Armstrong. It's Magnus. 
Uh, I don't know how, much, how strong Magnus is in close combat, but he has way higher uh, rank than, than I have. Ariana. Also, max, 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 max. Not in level, but at least in depth. Um, but she has lower uh, trink enhanced trinkets than Arkulf has. But um, that's just insane. I'm not ever going to be beating that. But for some reason, I am in the ranking with those people. I'm I'm in between them. And they just... I might get a good reward from it. Another couple of extra I'm conscious. Even if I'm not getting the rank 3. If I'm just the top 10. Getting 2 is good, still a good thing. Getting 2 I'm conscious is still a good thing. I won't be in that same rank uh, on ships. It, I am I am having that. And if you want to know how you get that. Win streak. Keep the win streak up. 32, 43. Keep the win streak up. That's just that's just what you have to do, mate. Um, every time you win a battle and you have the win streak up, it's 10 extra points in this one. And this is what your ranking is going to give you. So every time you win, just make make sure you win. If you're if you're out of refreshes and you can't beat the people that are in this anymore, just don't attempt it. It will lose you so many points if you lose on a battle um just don't attempt doing it just don't just leave those attempts for tomorrow it's way it's way better to actually win than to uh uh than to make sure you to empty out the attempt um madeline has bad shit setups or bad stats on ships i don't know but about this rogues um rogue is not she has okay, uh, she has uh, rank 6, rank 7, rank 8 heroes on there. So the ranks aren't that bad. I think maybe it's ship set up if you're saying that it's uh, it's in the other one. Hello, what items should equip on ship for blazing and drowning, crit damage or crit rate? Um, crit damage and crit rate, I advise to have a 1 to 2 ratio. So if you have... 20% uh, crit rate, have 40% crit damage. If you have 50% crit rate, have 100% crit damage. Try to make it around that number. That's mathematically saying the easiest way to uh, um, to get to... Uh, uh, that's the mathematically is the best the best ratio to have between them. So ask Aline. Um, that's, uh, that's the best thing you can do. Uh, try to see what you have on your ship already. And then to make it, try to make it a 1 to 2 ratio. I know it's not going to be... Um, uh, I don't want not going to be a 100% or, 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 or an actual 1 to 2 ratio. If it's a, a 1 to 1.95 or a 1 to 2.1, it's also good. But somewhere around there, it's the best thing to do. Um, Lorenzo saying right now, I'm using Ophelia, Bone, Sharky, Barnacle and Kui. Uh, which one better to remove to add Ahab in your opinion? Um, I don't like Barnacle, but that's most because my Barnacle isn't that strong. Um, we is pretty good. Uh, I, I'd say Sharky, maybe. The Sharky's burst is too strong in my opinion. Um, okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you just hit 30, 25, 32 seems so far away. I'm not 32, I'm 31 um but uh yeah it is it, it it has taken me 121 days dr ferris or dr ferris um uh, it has taken me 121 playtime days to get to this so don't uh don't beat yourself up um uh, if, if you if you're not there already it has taken me a lot of time to get to this um and it's not really working with the ship that i'm using right now so i don't know um how about a video about the Grand Line system? Bad King, that will be coming. I know that will be coming. Um, for strategic reasons, I'm waiting a couple of extra days. Let's just say that I wait at least three more days. Because this is the last one, last island there is. And for strategic reasons, I'm waiting at least three more days. 
So, um, I'm hoping to do that next week because I have to record something before um, before it ends. So I have to record that in the next upcoming three days. So yeah, uh, you know Madeline is weak because because you're in two v one. Uh, uh, but who is the other player? If the other player is dense, then it's not fair, Uga. <laughs> um, Vincent says, yep, the clean install helped. And the updater progressed now without crashing. Uh, now no more fun code lines instead of buttons. So, that that's a good thing. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that helped. Uh, Sharky v. Barnacle to me seems an easy barnacle. is Seems too easy. Barnacle is just too squishy. So you're saying get rid of Barnacle in that setup for Lorenzo. Um, Bob, you know it's possible. Yeah, of course. Are you going to join me, Uga? Then we can join, do it together. Um, Denston ain't in RCs. No, I didn't say Denston. I said Ark. Okay, we are six days behind you. It will still be a help then. I can't promise that it will be out this weekend or, or after three days or something. I can't promise that. Um... What what if you have a specific question? I can always answer that. Um, but I'm not going to be making a specific video with the tactics that we're using right now. If you have a question, I can answer that. It's it's no problem. But um, show gang leaderboard once. Show a gang leaderboard. Sure. Uh, I love showing this off because I think today we overtook everyone. We're now first. We didn't. We weren't first yesterday. Um. Um. But uh, we are now. We overtook them. Uh, the mafia. We overtook the mafia. The void keeps consuming people. The void keeps consuming. Um. Uh. It. It all takes a high. It. It. It all takes a higher damage player. Yes, Bob, for the Lorenzo thing. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, Uga saying Barnacle over Sharky anytime, so you could rid of <laughs> uh, uh, get rid of the the Barnacle on the uh, setup. Um, it all gives a high damage. Uh, I don't need Arc Wolf. He just helps the help. Yeah, well, it's good. Um, and we do need Arc Wolf. Not specifically Arc Wolf, but we do need Arc Wolf for this one. And maybe this one as well, because I haven't gotten to that. But um, if you haven't seen my video about how uh, squad raids tactics should uh, should be used, um, I haven't used that since that video. The entirety of Season 2, easy squad raids. Just attack, go in ham, start attacking, no problem. Nothing, nothing weird going on. But as soon as this one started... This one was hard, was already, we needed to do that. And this one was actually not possible without, without doing the tactic on that, uh, on that video. Um, one person should be attacking in the last phase. That's, that's quickly uh, answered how that should be going. But it's, it's, I have a very, um, uh, I, I have a, a, a bigger explanation in the video. So if you really have, if you're having trouble, if you're getting to season three and you're having trouble with this one, go watch the video. That I have on the YouTube because it's actually vital to use that tactic. Um, uh, yeah, but in that case we couldn't do it. Orange, I was with Orange in the in in a battle trying to get that hell, um, but that was just impossible for some reason. Um, for what's your gang power? Four point nine billion, almost at five billion. Um, L Legion 3's battle is going to be feisty. You mean for the Sea of Conquest event? Can we see uh, that? Yeah. Who are you matched with? I can Can I? Can I click that or can I not see that record? No, I cannot see what still has to be done. Uh, we won our second one since last stream. We won our second one. This wasn't as 
uh, as awesome of a battle as the first one was. 109 to 17,000 points um, to 65 and 52. This was a very tough fight uh, uh, with, uh, with them. Uh, it was a very a fun fight and a very tough fight. Also, that's a video on the on the YouTube. Um, you're in your Legion Three has a gang with 5.2 G's uh, power. Is it an elite gang, Uga? Because it could just be the the fifth their fifth Legion as well. Is it an, an elite Legion? What's the power you guys had? 700 million? So yeah, that's... that's... Legion 3 is matched against server 72. No, it's not an elite legion. So... It's their second legion. Okay. Yeah, that's... Yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, but you guys know it's 11. You'd see as well. Didn't you guys uh, in Legion 3 want... Uh, uh, three you to see or was that not possible for uh, uh, that or did a lot of people not or were a lot of people not able to do that um yo no sharing secrets is john saying uh, aka podrick um yeah it's uh, <laughs> i'm not sharing secrets until the the thing is done i've seen a gang in season two with 2.7 g isn't it yeah, that's 2.7 G in 2.7 billion in um, season two. That's that's pretty big because we were we're, we're only at 4.9. But as I said earlier, power doesn't mean anything. They can just have a lot of members that used to pay a lot for the game that stopped playing the game and are not even active anymore. They're just floating around in space. That power level doesn't do much if their members aren't online. Or if the members are playing Farming Simulator, just going back and forth between ports like I am right now. But as soon as the battle, as there, as there, when there is a battle to be fought, I will help. Um, just like usually 20 to 30 other people in the gang. Everyone will show up. Um, we are in Season 2 and have 4.6 billion power. That's great. Good, uh, good thing. Good thing. Um, but same as I said, uh, power doesn't do anything if your members aren't active. Or if your members are active, but but playing a farming game instead of a war game. We said that earlier. Uh, someone said uh, that the level 1 gang, everyone was afraid of doing something like that with against them. I was like, where are you afraid of? What's the, what's, what are you going to lose? Sailors. That's the only thing you can lose. Where are you afraid of? Your ships will not go permanently be gone. Your heroes will not permanently be gone. What can? Wh where are you scared of? That you're losing a battle? You guys won't be losing a battle live on stream. That's what I'm. That's the problem I'm having. If I am, if I'm losing a battle, it will be on stream. Um, please keep the chat in English. I think. Uh, Illuminati Matrix. I don't know what that is, but I think it's not English, right? Um. Please keep it in English so I can moderate. I need to moderate the chat myself, so and I and I only speak English or Dutch and a little bit German. But other than that, most languages just keep it in English so everyone can enjoy. Um, yeah. Um, let's see what else did we did I want to do today? Uh, did we finish the Rogue Rumble? No, we didn't. I can still beat Ghost Ship another time. Here, this is what it's doing. It's giving me, it's only giving me one point if I win this fight, but this win streak is giving me 10. And that crashes the stream again. There goes OBS. And it should be back right now. Um, did you do your grand line? Oh, no, I don't think I did my grand line yet. Oh, we got a bonus. Complete an island incident. I didn't. Thanks for reminding me, Uga. The first one is an incident, just like a land incident. The second one is like, uh, um, like in season one when you had that extra mission in the trials as well. 
Yeah, Illuminati Matrix. I thought that was probably the question you were asking, but uh, I saw the word server in there, but uh, the rest of the sentence was was a little bit of uh, um, out of my uh, <laughs> out, out of out of what I can actually read. Uh, how do you feel about people that get uh, level 30 in season one? People are putting some crazy amounts of cash in the claim. Free to play people don't have the chance. Don't have a chance. I disagree, Axe. I disagree. Um, um, I think free to play people need to also. I know. I know it's weird to, to hear this. I'm not a free to play player, but I'm not a whale as well. Yes, for the purpose of this stream, I'm saying I'm I'm a whale because I now got 31. But um, I'm I don't spend I don't spend that much money on the game, maybe 50 bucks or something. Um, but that's all I'm doing. But um, uh, free-to-play players need to uh, remind, remember that um, those people that go to level 30 in season 1 and play spend a lot of cash, people like ArcWolf on, on my server, um, they finance the game for them. If they don't uh, want to pay or are able to pay, it's fine. But they are able to play the game if, 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 because of the people that pay and um and this game actually is not as um heavy on the paying players for um how strong they are uh i've been playing other games and you can 5v1 or 10v1 um uh, a ship in this game i've played a game before um and uh that was that was uh star trek based but you can only battle other ships in this case spaceships um one v one so that means uh that means that um you can only do a one v one so that means that i can never beat an uh hey master um i can never beat I know the guy. I need to uh, warn him. <laughs> um, I think with hell difficulty, we might need another person. Um, what am I saying? Um, you can 10v1 uh, a whale. You can uh, get 10 people together and then attack. And um, uh, then you will be able to beat him. Um, you will be able to beat a high level player. And then they have to pull out their wallet again. And I, li I like the fact that we're beating whales. That we've been beating whales during season 1, season 2, season 3. Arkwolf, the number one playing on our server, wasn't in our gang. And was level 30 in season 1. He was level 30. He's been level 35 in season 2. He's now... When season 3 started. He was at level 37. Which is the max for season 3. In the first day. So I'll just go enter. Because I don't think another person is coming. He was, he was on uh, level 37 in the first day. It's just insane. He just... He just he just does that, um, but because he does that, the game, uh, the company that develops the game has the money to develop the game. He's pay he's paying for the people that don't want to pay or aren't able to pay, and um, I think that's not something that can be overlooked. I do think that those people shouldn't be bullies just because they're stronger. That's that's just. That's just common sense, I think. You're stronger, okay. You're able to spend, okay. That's good. Good for you. Um, if you're fighting in a fair fight, good for you. If you if you're able to to, to sink me, well, good for you. But um, um, when I get 10, 10 of my gangmates uh, in in the fight, you will sink, and uh, that's the thing. Usually, uh, the average number that you're behind in levels. Plus one person. 
that's the amount of people you need. So if you're if you're five levels behind him, you need six people. If you're ten levels behind him, you need eleven or maybe twelve people to sink him. But you will be able to sink him. And he will have to get out his wallet to replenish his sailors. He will have to have to do that. And I love the fact that um, uh, that we had some whales that had very big mouths and uh, was trying to um, yell a lot of things. Hey, coyote! <laughs> I was saying I was I was I was doing my sort of our sort of mantra. Uh, get get the whales. Go get the whales. Just make sure you get a lot of people, get a big group together, and then take down the whales yourself. It's not money that's buying this game. It's active people and towers. That's what's winning this game. He can't be on 24-7. He can't be on... Uh, uh, he can't be on two places at the same time. Make sure you, you fight strategically, and then you can e beat everyone. Um... You understand that, but the big the difference is too big. For example, they're still going for ghost ship where I can get some speed up, so the distance grows between them and free to play. Yes, I do think that that is true. Um, he will beat ghost ships. Uh, we had one uh, player on our ship on our server that sent a mini to all the ghost ships. So one mini to that one, one mini to that one, one mini to that one, and he still won. Um, so yeah, that's that's something that uh, that I, I can understand that, but um, I think the gap is at the biggest in season one. The I think the 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 the, the gap between free to play players and extremely spending players it's tighter in season two because the level limit only increases by five levels, so he will only be able to gain five levels during the entirety of season two probably in the first couple of days then the big the difference will be even bigger i know but when you grind out and you find a way that you can gain gold get all of it then uh, uh you will be able to outpace them because you will be able to even for a free-to-play player you will be able to get more than five ship levels during the entirety of season two you will be able to do more of that. So your growth will, will also be easier. He, he has a cap. You don't. The only cap is for you is um, what you're able to do. What your strategy is. And uh, I'm not saying money in this case. But um, uh, yeah, it's... it's um, I think it's uh, the gap closes in season two and i think the gap closes even more in season three and yes i did spend some money on the game uh, but i'm not a whale i'm also not a free-to-play player i'm somewhere in between um but i can still put up a very good fight especially if i get get a couple of my gang mates like coyote uga uh, orange who are all in chat here right now um or i don't know if orange is still here but yeah the only problem is heroes yeah that is a problem it, you should be you should Focus on a way to get heroes. And especially if you're... Um, this is... Uh, Bob's a small dolphin. Yeah, maybe a small dolphin. If you're spent, try to spend wisely. Um, try to focus on bones. And for... Uh, and, and if you're going for artillery or for ground battle, focus on Ophelia. Those are good. If you're going into season 2... Focus one of the heroes. Don't go for both. Focus one hero. Because you won't have a 31 ship. The 31st. Uh, 30, level 31 5th ship. For quite some time. So why would you focus on drowning and blazing? Go one. Go for the one that you got. Uh, if you got a good blazing setup. Go for Tanaka. If you got a good drowning setup. Go for Adeline. Both are amazing. I think Tanaka. With his legendary trinket. Is amazing. I've been focusing really heavy on him. I've spent all of the conscious that I had for the first two or three weeks in um, in in uh, in trinkets, maybe even longer. I think five, six hundred conscious in total went into trinkets just to get those trinkets up. 
and that would give me and that gave me so much more power just be smart about the setups the problem with whales is um usually i'm not saying everyone what did bob do for the fifth chip i did a healer coyote i did a healer uh what the problem for most uh paying players is is that they um they lose to somebody and instead of analyzing the battle report or trying to look at what went wrong for them they pull out their wallet so and they get extra levels extra ranks extra upgrades extra trinkets extra whatever it gets but they're not looking at the reason that they were losing to someone that has lower level than them they're just pulling out their wallet to try to fix the problem and uh uh, loving the new layout. Thanks, sir, Coyote. Um, yes. Um, I don't. I'm not uh, for the for the fifth chip. I'm not really convinced yet, Coyote. But um, they just try to pull out their wallet. Arkwolf did the same in season one. He was he was a very high level player. He was a very strong player, but he wasn't. He didn't have his. Um, uh, he didn't fully use all of the potential that his heroes and ship had um so yeah that's 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 usually the problem for people who pay we pay for the game um but now i'm gonna stop the rant <laughs> um just let's let's just say in this game if you can get a group of people back to band, to band together against the whale you can win uh, other games that's impossible if you other games it's only 1v1 fights and you will always lose in that case but in this case in this game you can 10v1 a whale and then you can still win there are vi there's video evidence on my youtube channel of that happening um several times over uh happened during a live stream happened during uh videos uh or i put it in a video so yeah it's there's video evidence of us doing it constantly ask 55v who was against us in season two uh they thought that they would uh, kick our ass because they had more whales than we did. And they lost. They didn't even make it to zone 2. Yeah, it, <laughs> When they were in zone 2, they got kicked out again. It was for less than 48 hours they were in zone 2. Every time. Um, yeah, I think focus on, on Tanaka is a good thing because you can get a free one. Uh, quiz question. I'm still missing Lester from Season 1 Heroes, and I have 8k rogue coins because uh, I have, was saving them for blueprints. Because uh, uh, Should I get him from there, or is it better to get another Ahab for... Um, would you use him, Lorenzo? Uh, that's, that's my main thing. Would you actually use him? Are you... Are you replacing him with something useless, like... For example, if you, you could you could have a blazing setup where, no, not this ship, where instead of that in season one, for example, you're still using uh, Zola. I forgot the name, so I had to look it up. Um, you're still losing. You're still using Zola for a captain on a blazing ship. Then yes, for Lester, yes. If you're saying yeah, I don't actually use blazing. I use drowning more, but I don't have him. Don't be annoyed by the fact that there are grayed out ones. With a with a with a with a key there, don't be annoyed by this. Just leave it. If you, well, I'm not. I I don't have a spot for any. No, I would have a spot for Magnus to put on, but I would kick out Armstrong then in that case. But I wouldn't have a spot for Boa. I wouldn't have a spot for Molly, and I wouldn't have a spot for Adeline. So why would I do it? So yeah. Um. Okay, but um. I keep apologizing for that. I have no idea what's happening. I will be ending in, in like half an hour or something. So maybe once or twice more. Let's hope. For some reason, OBS just dropping out. Uh, my apologies. I have no idea what's going wrong. Um, yeah, but you can still go back to the season one. If you're, if you're done in season two, you can go back to season one. Uh, it's very useful to get those uh, warship heroes from season one i've still got um uh, i still need one again so um yeah it's it's just uh, yeah oh okay 
go go back after season two go fix uh, go, um, go push hard on the guild um i don't recommend spending gold on the governor anymore because i think you're spending way more than your than than for gold would be beneficial and especially for season two and season three i would only spend for season one maybe I wonder, did Neil, Bob get nil over 5 million? No, Coyote, no. I just I just got 5 million. Uh, I, 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 had, I was like at 36.5 million when I started stream. And now it's 41.1. So I didn't get, I didn't give us 100 million power. <laughs> we were just over the threshold of 4.9. I didn't get 100 million power for an extra ship, Coyote. <laughs> Um, what would your, your advice be? Oh wait, uh, yeah. What would your advice be if he uh, if he wants for free to play? If he wants to invest a small amount of money, I have bought a third ship builder. Any other advice? Yeah, the third ship builder is a good one. Um, getting the pack of Cordelia in the first uh, thing was a very beneficial one, I think. I've had someone ask this question, this exact question before. Uh, getting Cordelia, um, unlocking her was in a was in a chest. I I, I really like that. Um, the ship that you can buy. Um, this fearless princess. If you're still in the beginning of season two, for example, if season one, I have used this ship for the entirety of season one and season two. Um, it will be useful for you when you cross over to um, to thirty, to thirty, uh, to, uh, no, to, thir to twenty-two. When you get the fourth ship, you, you would get that because otherwise you would still be using uh, several blue ships, and those stats are just way worse than uh, than the stats of a purple ship. So, I think that is a good thing to do. Um, after that, I would say. Um, Call of the Wild, this event, this, this bottom row that you can get, that's a very good value. It's, it, for me, it's called Call to the Wild, but there's also a Season 1 and a Season 2 equivalent of that. I don't know the exact names, but these are very, um, uh, very high rewards. 18 Conscience, for me, it gives uh, 38 Conscience here, it gives 100... 130 minute speed ups these are quite these are quite useless these are quite useful getting to get quite useful now uh with the uh, with the new thing um get some emeralds get some get some hero experience that's a good thing um and in my case you're getting uh blueprints for ships but that's a season two season three exclusive thing so yeah it's it's um those are the things that that I um, would say from the top of my head would be the best value. Would be the smartest value. If you're doing that. So, I hope that answers your question. Um, and, yeah, I wanted to go for Blazing because I'll focus on Tanaka this season. But I have Barnacle and not Lester. Uh, but as Alter said, I'll just, uh, I'll just get him from Warship. Yeah. Get him from Warship, but you can also get him from Warship and get him from uh, from the chest. Why not both? Because then he would be immediately rank 3. He deals blazing damage, that's good. 11 stacks of burning, for every 11 stacks of burning applied, he deals another stack of burning. And for every 14 stacks of burning inflicted, Lester will deal an equivalent damage. So if you can get him to, to this skill by going to another one, this is a very good upgrade for, for Lester if you have him at uh, uh, rank 2. For some reason, at the beginning of Season 1, I got like 3 or 4 Lesters uh, from the first couple of pulls that I did. So yeah, it's I, I was very Lester heavy in Season 1. And in season two, I haven't gotten one Lester. In season three, same. But I got myself uh, a Barnacle at the end of season one, somewhere in the middle of season two, and then again, like last week, something. 
I didn't even have to reach the pity point value to get uh, to get to it. So for some reason I was able to do that. Um, you like it, but don't buy the 50 one. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you buy the this one. You should buy this one. This one's uh, this one's a good one. Otherwise, I don't know what you're what you're mentioning. Um, Call of the Wilds, awesome premium. Yeah, that's 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 the very good. The the princess is great at the start. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's a very good ship. I'm not using it now anymore. So in two months time, it will be wasted money. Let's just say that I'm not using it anymore. Maybe if I were to get some extra strategic heroes, I would use it as a fifth chip again. But currently, I'm trying to see if this, for some, if I somehow get can get this working. I don't think it will be working. I don't. I think it, I will be having to uh, um, to change some things out myself. But I don't know. I might. I might be going offensive instead of this defensive build. And putting Cordelia back on here. Then put Lulu back. No, keep Lulu here. Then put maybe Griffin in. Or Barnacle. Probably Barnacle for for drowning. To make it a drowning ship. And then maybe get rid of Cursed Ed and put in Kojo. Because that matches good with, with the Trinket and with... Um, what's it? This one? We talked about earlier in the stream. If I were to get Oni to like rank 4. Um, also, if uh, Lorenzo, as soon as you start, if you, as soon as you unlock the hero, you can send him on this Explored Ruins mission, Voids of the Four Seas, and get a daily uh, puzzle piece, hero badge. For him so that in a month or two uh in 50 days um you'll be able to get um was that lorenzo that was asking that no it was uh axe allen um uh, you can as soon as you unlock a hero you can send in you can send this i want to get my tanaka to rank six and then i want to fo i want to keep focusing on my oni and I don't know where I'm going to be focusing after I get this Tanaka to rank 6. But that will take me another like 30 days before I can do that. Um, yep, doing that already for Bones and Ahab. Yeah, great. Um, if you're doing that, focus on one hero so you can at least get, my, get one in like 50 days. Um, because I wanted to reach Ahab 4 stars, he's still 2 stars. Yes, he is very good at when you get him to 3 or 4 stars. I don't know what it is. Um, this mighty plate is very good and is that rank 2 is this unlocked at rank 2 uh, Lorenzo can you, can you uh, confirm or deny that because if Ahab if this skill is locked at rank 2 I would definitely say go always go with this because uh, a, a shield for an extra ship is always good the first two skills already unlocked on two stars okay never mind then um yeah you need you, you almost need this uh, but this is also very good uh, and this is this is the best this is also very 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 good thing uh, every 10 seconds get an armor increase for 11 seconds for five ship uh, for uh, for five seconds on three ships so it's not only this ship it's uh, for oh for the non-seasonal ones you get that right 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 oh by the way no it's not only for the non-seasonal ones you get one um you get both of them for the seasonal ones as well only you get an extra for the seasonal ones you get an extra uh, skill so yeah, uh, yeah, I wanted to get four stars just to unlock all the skills. Yeah, that's 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 what the that's that's really is what is good for. But let's let's ask the question I ask anyone that's giving asking for me advice. In this case, you want to go for Ahab? Do you want to go for Lester? What ship is sinking first? 
do you need do you need more tank do you need more defense on your flagship then i would say ahab if you don't need more tank on your flagship i would say go try to get a good uh a good offensive one um do we get oni for free like we did sanaka thank you for the help no monkey monkey king um we got uh wanda for free because oni uh oni musha was originally not in season three but it was a season four hero um we're getting this saga um but we're getting it for wanda and not for uh not for oni because if we're doing the missions where do I need to go for the mission? I can do that, but not now. If you're still doing the missions, you're still getting OB. OB, it's it's very confusing. We now have Oni, but it used to be OB. And Oni is short for Oni Musha, but OB is the actual entire name. So um yeah, that was that's that's the guy that they sh uh, switched around for season three and season four. It's very weird because season four is Asian themed, and now we have an Asian themed hero in this season and then we have a um uh an african themed hero in the next season it's weird uh, season wise theme wise it should be in this one but maybe they didn't want um uh, two defensive heroes in one season people might people might have been complaining in the first go around of season three that they wanted to have at least an offensive hero in there so that's why maybe why they changed it no, I still love the mini ships. Uh, I lose the mini ships first, probably most of the time. I still have 50% left on the flagship when the other ones are about to sink. Yeah, so you don't need more uh, defense on your flagship. But since the last skill of Ahab also gives mighty plate to other ships, not only your flagship, it might help them as well. I was like, then you don't need defense, so that's your that's your immediate answer. But it's it's really not. <laughs> it still has. There's still another answer. There's there's still another question to be answered there. Um. How high is their armor? If is it is it worth their arm? Is it worth upgrading their armor? I don't think it usually is. I think it usually is for the. Um. It usually is better to go full out attack. And then have tank on the on the flag. Usually everything's dead for me as well, or is 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 on the bottom of the sea at JB Jones's locker, uh, and then my sh uh, flagship still at like seventy percent health. It's insane. But um, yeah, for some reason, I still haven't changed out some things to make him less tanky. I still I still am doing. I'm still I'm still not I'm I'm doing almost zero attack on my on my flagship with only 32,000 attack damage. It's only doing a, a margin of what the other one's doing. Let's see reports. What was the other 31? Yeah, this one. This was the other 31. 70,000 trophies in one battle, and it did. Uh, 350,000 damage compared to 7 million, 7 million, and 7 million. And this one's also now 800,000. So even this new one is doing double the damage of my flagship. And 4 million heal. And we got a little over 4 million damage. Here, this is what I was hoping for. This is what this setup is doing. OBS goes again. My apologies, guys. I hope it's. I hope I can fix this for next, uh, for the next stream because it's just awful. Really, really, really sorry for this happening. Um, but this is what I wanted to see: have less uh, wounded heroes. They're dying. Yes, of course they're dying. Um, if I want to prevent that, I would have to put on another. Was Blood Wave attacking me? Hi, Blood Wave. Probably an accident, I think. It's only a, 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 a an act. You killed seven of my sailors, <laughs> Blood Wave. <laughs> um, I want revenge. No, I don't. Um, what was that? What must I? I lost my train of thought. But um, 
that's what I wanted to do. If I want to make sure that less of the things die, I need to upgrade my ship, my sick pay from 28. This treatment percentage would make, I could put that at, uh, at 31 and get 67%. That would mean I would lose less, even less sailors, like five percent less. That's that's what I want. That's what I would do. <clears throat> that's what I would do. My voice is starting act, actually starting to go crazy now. Um, if I want to have less sailors die. Um, how does Grand Line work? We should be hitting S three in a few weeks. Uh, chat. There will be a video on that. Um, I am waiting another three and a half days for the video to, 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 to drop, at least. I'm not saying that in three and a half days the video will drop, but I am waiting at least three and a half days for the video to drop. I will be explaining that in detail because it's a complicated mechanism. But in three days, our last island of the Grand Line is uh, distributed, is, is being conquered. And that means that um, after that, uh, I can share my our tactics. I don't mind. Uh, but before that, I'm not going to be sharing tactics. Is it possible to reset a ship to get uh, BK and gold and plank you spent? Yes, it is. Um, the first time you're doing it, it's free. As in, it doesn't cost you any emeralds. After that, it's costing you 2,000 emeralds. You can reset it to level 1 and you will get 250 planks back and 10 million gold. This is everything that you've spent on it. I don't think there's a depreciation. I don't think you get... I think you get everything back. 100% of what you spent. So, yeah. Um, people are saying that it's a weekly or maybe a bi-weekly thing that you can... That this goes back to zero. Because I have done it twice for zero. Uh, I also did it twice for 2k to get to... 100 million gold before the start of this stream to actually get this uh to actually get to 31 today um so yeah that happened but um yeah you can do it you can do that um but i don't know what the what the timer is um yes Ugo's saying there's a button on the ship right now um or ultra uh, we call him Uga. Uh, apparently in the chat in the youtube he's different he's named different so yeah um, uh, Uga has done his small whaling for today. Next is the birthday. Okay, did you do? Uh, did you go to twenty eight? Uh, you were on the brink of twenty eight. You said right. So did you? Did you get there? Um, I have a second for free this week. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the three what the trigger is then. Yeah, did you go to another season? Did you go from season one to season two this week? Like today, for example. Uh, same, also did twice for zero and once for 2k. The timer should be weekly or bi-weekly. Yeah, that's that's also what I've been saying. But the only thing I'm noticing is that it changes when going from season to next season. You're, not, you're still in season two. Okay, so that's not the thing. I, I did it once while we were in Season 2 for free, and I did it for free again in Season 3. So I was like, okay, that's a season thing, that you can do it once a season. But um, apparently some people are saying it's weekly or bi-weekly. We'll have to know. Um, if they add a feature like this, it would be great to have this information in the patch notes. In the patch notes. But just saying. It would be great to have this information. But for some reason... They're reluctant to put this information in there. Or not specifically this information, but they're very uh, scarce on their uh, information on patch notes. So yeah, with, with my voice just, just getting to the end, um, I do have to say that I'm going to be ending the stream today. Um, it's It's been three hours. I'm already happy that it's been three hours and I'm the only thing that's been disrupting the stream has been uh has been obs crashing like five times an hour um my apologies for that i will start to fix that but 
um i do want to say if you uh if you enjoyed the stream please please leave a like um when the stream is over put a comment in the stream if you uh if you liked it um put a comment in the stream if you like the the uh, the new overlays that i have on the on this and the new be right back screen that i have i can quickly show you guys the be right back screen if you weren't here earlier this is what i got for the be right back screen i love it i love the fact that i got this um so yeah let's get back but also the the stinger as well the 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 transition from one to the other um that's also a thing um so yeah um if you have enjoyed the stream, please leave a like. Uh, if you want to have uh, want to be there for next week, uh, subscribe. Uh, I will be here every Friday, um, 1 p.m. UTC time. That's 3 p.m. for my time, whatever that is for your time. Um, three hours earlier from right now. Three hours and 13 minutes before now. Uh, look at your clock and figure out the time for your for your time zone. Um, so yeah, that that will be done. Um, I think I have channel memberships online now. If you want to support the channel, um, I'm not saying that you have to. There's nothing much more to gain other than I think a badge in front of your name um, when you're in chat. Um, I don't have much to do with that as well. I I do need to get my um, my, my my amount of videos up first before I can actually do benefits for specific members, but. If you want to support me, it's it will be greatly appreciated. Um, someone is hooking me. <laughs> From what server is he? Is he is server sixty? Well, uh, probably someone on stream. I hope. I think. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but I hope you liked the stream. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I certainly did. Uh, but my voice is just starting to crack. So I'm gonna give you one last. How are you doing? And that didn't crack that didn't destroy my voice so uh um yeah let's uh, uh i hope to see you next time next week um watch out for for a video uh i think coming this weekend um probably one or two smaller videos shorter videos uh do give them a like even if you don't um uh, need to know the information please do give them a like because it helps me and it helps the algorithm um, it also helps me to get an official content creator because that program started this week and um, I did put in my application and I will be looking into what it could bring for me and what it could bring for you as a community. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can we can get to an, uh, to be an actual content creator for Fun Plus um, and what that could bring, what I could bring to you guys then. Uh, I don't care if it brings anything to me. I bring I care if it brings anything of value to you guys any information that we didn't have earlier so yeah that's that's what i want to be doing um help out if you can and if you don't uh it's also good being here in chat what really helps out uh what makes the stream enjoyable so if you see if you haven't done that already please like please subscribe and i will be seeing you next time uh so i will be saying hi to bye to uga john lorenzo denston Java, i sorry, that, that, that's just letters I can't pronounce. Uh, Bad King, um, Chad uh, Dashiari was in there. Rado Steel, an Old Spice Drum was in there. Um, thank you guys, everyone, for watching. Uh, who's, who's in here in the, uh, in the stream but not in the chat anymore? Uh, also, thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you. Bye, Lorenzo. I will see you in the next one. And uh, I wish you all a happy sailing.